Hey everybody, how's it going? It's uh, pretty early in the morning for some of us. Uh, not early for everybody, but you know, early for me. And that's fine. I can deal with that, I think. Maybe. Maybe. Um, so yeah, we're going to be getting on with the Samurai Shodan 5 Special Tournament shortly. Uh, we're going to start in about 4 or 5 minutes. Uh, I always sound like I just woke up. I've been awake for about an hour now. So just something you're just, just going to have to get used to. But I'm not commentating. You don't have to worry about me. We've got uh, PNG handling the commentary. And it's going to go well. He knows about Samurai Showdown. I know about Samurai Showdown. Or he knows about Samurai Showdown 5 Special. I know about Samurai Showdown 2. I'm useless on the mic for this game. Ignore me. Let's put up a tweet that we're going, doing things. Uh, PNG only knows Hanzo 66C. Hmm. 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 That's more than I know, all right? When you bring a gun to a sword fight, you're talking about, uh, Andrew? Is that who you're talking about? He brings a gun to a sword fight? Oh, that's, that's, that's Hanzo 660, the... Hanzo 660 is the gun. Oh, shit. Okay, see, I didn't know that. Muted here... Well, let's see what our first match is, if we have a first match. Uh, is our first match going to be... Uh, Green Leo Waifu and KY? I'm just looking at the chance. I don't know if that's what's going to happen. Okay. Let me get them in this so I can get the video. Alright, I'm gonna vanish right now, everybody. Peace. Top of the top level SSV special today. Well, let me tell you. <laughs> I don't know if you're going to get that. <laughs> Man, if James if James gets DQ'd. <laughs> Yeah, if only we could get uh, the illustrious uh, Ninja Pound to show up for this tournament, this this humble, humble tournament of lucky players. We could witness his techniquing. Yeah, I'm going to be here for a long time. Uh, hopefully, oh, are we going to get... Our first uh, match going. This is just a desktop. Oh, there's the Sam Show. <laughs> the agility? I, I've heard stories about Ninja Pound's techniquing, but I don't know anything about the agility. Is this... Am I too low level for the agility? Is, uh... <laughs> I know he only tends to use thirty percent power for me. <laughs> Maybe the agility is unlocked at thirty-five percent. I 
Uh, 40% for the agility, I see. <laughs> But uh, there's a lot of players. Uh, oh, <laughs> top top five American, <laughs> top five American, and uh, I mean, <laughs> pretty good <laughs> for an American. <laughs> I must admit. <laughs> oh man, if. If he was in this tournament, I would I would prey upon his downfall. I would talk so much shit. <laughs> so, uh, it's not currently on stream, but they're just hanging out in character select now. It's they're waiting for the okay. To start playing, but uh, Green Leo Waifu is a Mizuki player, and it looks like KY is going to be playing Galford. So this matchup, like all matchups for Mizuki, are pretty bad. But uh, Mizuki can roll under Galford's projectile and use her command grab a whole lot more than you would think. But uh, anything else is going to get probably shut down by a plasma blade at full screen. So Mizuki is going to have to play pretty close. It's you might you might actually get to see some neutral. Uh, from Mizuki if Galford decides not to play because Galford is a degenerate set play character and I take back all comments about neutral. Are they playing? Is this just a little test what we're seeing here? Or are they actually going? So let me tell you. <laughs> this is... We're... <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Oh Jesus Christ! Well, from what I <laughs> next slide, please. <laughs> All right, so we see a low portal. Are we gonna get the heavy pursuit? Yeah, we are. <laughs> Is this the power of? <laughs> yeah, I think KY isn't streaming the game. He's just streaming desktop. But uh... <laughs> my eyes are bleeding. <laughs> But yeah, I have not heard a lot about KY, so I'm going to assume that he's the uh, the less experienced player here. And if you're less experienced and two players decide to run at each other, one of them's going to get run over. And we can see KY having lost this in about 30 seconds and, you know, 10 slides. Hundred and sixty six milliseconds. Wait. Where are these players? How far apart are these dudes? <laughs> anyway, I'm assuming this is a uh, first to two early in the bracket. It's it's going to end up being pretty quick for Green Leo Wife, who's my bet. What we need to see from this Galford is uh, some responsible anti-airs not doing Plasma Blade, you know, up close because it's very unsafe. Got to block the overhead. Really, you just got to learn how to play the game. It's unfortunate. There's a lot of things, you know that you can do to up your survivability, but it just looks like perhaps KY hasn't played too much. Just wanted to enter Animevo. It's a good time. It's good fun. That's fine. Wake up, Plasma Blade. Maybe I was wrong. And there's a dash up throw from Mizuki. Neutral jump. Running under. Oh my god. No pursuit. Uh-oh. It's blocked. Yeah, Galford Super is notoriously horrible. It's It's probably the worst super in the game by a wide margin. But uh, what Galford usually wants to do to, you know, set up his game plan is he can send his dog out, Poppy, to, a, oh, this is a big combo, to run all kinds of games. Because Poppy, uh, this is probably not intentional, but Poppy copies the uh, properties of whatever attack Galford is doing. So if you send out Poppy and Galford jumps in the air and, whoop, well, nice fatality. But if you send out Poppy and Galford jumps in the air and doesn't attack, Poppy is an overhead, no matter where Poppy is. If you send out Poppy and you command grab, Poppy becomes a, 
a moving command grab. <laughs> you know, a running command grab. Which is uh which is really good if you send out Poppy and do Galfred's cross up teleport. They need to learn. You can't just rely on plasma break, even though it is really good, it it will get you killed, as we saw on the slide five. So that's that. So good job, Green Leo Waifu. Really ran away with it there. What's the Discord? It's the Anime Evo Discord. <laughs> Oh, are you are you a player in the tournament? And you're not in the Discord. So someone get this man a link. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> let me uh, let me see if can I get a link. Yeah, if you can only see the Q&A channel, you need to read it. <laughs> In the welcome channel, you have to... Is it the welcome channel? I believe you have to react with a with a post. Yeah, you have to go read the welcome chat, go to the bottom. You gotta react with a post to see the rest of the chat. You gotta do that quick before you get disqualified. Check the pins. Oh my god, that was loud. Ah! Alright, who's playing? Jesus. <laughs> oh, it looks like James has been DQ'd. <laughs> You hate to see it. Oh, this is this is emu fun play. Oh, oh, this will be good. Man, you guys, you guys missed it. It's not on stream yet, but. When Jushido is streaming, his mouse is on the screen, so you can like you can put your mouse over their mouse. <laughs> you can. It's how you give a player your energy, really. It's a streamer's advantage. So if I remember, yeah, Emufun, when I played them in New York, was playing Suija and Ghetto. Then we're gonna see a Yoshitor from Jushido Brown. Uh, this Ghetto is uh, very competent, and a competent Ghetto is the best character in the game. Not by a huge margin, but the best character in the game. So what we're seeing now is a uh, freeze frame. Of <laughs> so Ghetto is probably what you would call the best character in the game because of his insane buttons, uh, his command grab. He takes reduced damage. He's got two different supers, one of which is pretty much safe. He has excellent Oki. He's probably one of the only viable zoners in the game. There's the command grab. 
And what we're seeing now is Yoshitora perhaps trying to grab, missing, hopping through. Full screen Subaki just, just hits overhead as uh, Kara Boten. You can cancel Yoshitora's overhead into his airborne special. It's it's very good. Against a super large character like Ghetto, you can do that from like half screen. It'll hit him. Normal throw. Oh, the de is that is that forbidden technique number 12? Empty throw into command grab? <laughs> Emu fun literally stunting on this Yoshitora. <laughs> All right, got the weapon pickup. You can parry that weapon pickup because it's a single hit. Yoshitar picking up his weapon is uh, very unsafe. It takes a super long time. To round three, run up, normal throw. There's another car bow, tend to avoid the wake up command grab. That 2AB on wake up is unsafe. You can cancel the end part into a special, but if both hits go off and he doesn't move, you can hit him, you can grab him, you can do anything. It's too late. He's already he's already shown the people what you can do. And uh <laughs> Oh, I I guess that hit. <laughs> yeah, playing ghetto is usually already a slideshow because of his role. And that was my one joke, my one allocated joke for the stream. And the rest of it is gonna be me hating everything I see. So even though Ghetto's a very powerful character, we can really see the balance of the game coming out here as Jushido Brown takes the first round without without much fuss. Oh, the hands. Usually those move, the hands that come up from the ground, I forget the name for it. It's probably in Japanese. That move is really bad. It's very, very unsafe and used mostly in time slow. Nice 6C from Ghetto. It's a quick move. Jumps over the DP. Yeah, Ghetto also has a really high jump. <laughs> Hey, you leave the narrator out of this. And just <laughs> just jumping AB, it's blocked, hit the ground, and then DP. <laughs> DP in the middle of your own pressure. A lot of jumping AB from Yoshitor because what is Ghetto going to do? I'll tell you what Ghetto can do. He can jump back A. Nice. Neutral B. Another another command graph super. I'm guessing that was buffered in the air. It caught Yoshitara as he landed. And you're immediately picking up the weapon. Usually the correct choice. You, you want to pick up the weapon as, as quick as you can and endure whatever consequence might come your way. Big 2AB, and there's that jumping A. It's a nice button. I think I think the wiki for uh, for this game on uh, Mizuumi, rest in peace, it, it doesn't talk about how good that button is. It's an insane button. And just round start. <laughs> round start to A B. Look at this guy. Another car Boten. So this is kind of part of Yoshitora's game. He he can rush you down. Just block it, man. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Third one. Does the game look like this for you too? <laughs> for the players? He's hit like four of these car botens, and we get a command grab here. The thing about Ghetto is he gets two command grabs. The game is basically tied up. Nice punish. Nice punish again with just the jab. So Ghetto also has these, these beautiful buttons out at range here. Oh, I don't think this is intercontinental. <laughs> it's just a stream. The, uh, the Discord screen share. Sam Show does not like to be uh, screen shared on Discord. If only if only there was some other way. And just raw Subaki. Usually the uh, there's a litmus test for Yoshitara where it's wherever you see Subaki, you just block. Just block until they give you a reason not to block, which would be the uh, the empty Subaki, usually into normal throw. But there are other characters, uh, I know Kyoshiro can do it, where every time you see Subaki, you can hit one of your kicks and you can stuff it. 
Uh, Ghetto probably has a button that can do that. Like a uh, 6C. Just every time you see it, you can 6C and knock him out of it. Uh, he also might have enough grab range to just grab him out of it with command grab every time he does Subaki, because Subaki is not grab immune, it only has uh, auto guard. But for Ghetto to do command grab without moving at all on reaction to Subaki every time would be very hard. Usually, most players buffer that command grab. That was very unsafe, but it, it goes unpunished. Recoil cancel into the puke, but Yoshitor's in the air for so long. <laughs> oh, here we go. This is going to hurt. <laughs> there it is. Yeah, run up Asaga is actually a galaxy brain play. Only. <laughs> Oh, command grab gets stuffed. And again. Oh, big punish on that. Nope, no punish on that. <laughs> Empty jump throw. Here's the puke setup. And just raw DP. Yep. Okay, you get a saga. Maybe that was supposed to be a Subaki. Uh, a saga has frozen the game. <laughs> a saga car cancel into Botan. <laughs> nice anti air from Ghetto. Normal throw. Are we going to see another puke setup? Well, what we what we've seen about puke setups as as this frozen frame exists on the screen is that <laughs> this Yoshi Tora likes to be likes to DP when he's right there. Nope, punish you, boy. <laughs> Dead man walking right now. You both deserve to lose. <laughs> Who? Jumping A. It's a good button. Yeah, I'm sorry I can't use my uh my premium Japanese pronunciations for you. Yeah, they're simply they're moving too fast for your untrained eyes. <laughs> Sam show experts like Lodrak can can discern the qualities of the match even. <laughs> it's like in Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> Oh my god, that's loud. So, right now we got JD Jank and uh, Termin. I know Termin is from Russia. Or at least that's that's my belief. That's the flag that shows up next to the name. <laughs> and uh, JD Jank is from, I don't know, close. Close to me. And is a uh, Pennsylvania? And is it? oh, from Panama. What does Panama's flag look like? <laughs> I wonder. Is this just what it looks like when it's zoomed in? Is it because of the zoom? No. No way. Hold on. <laughs> it's Terran from Panama. Because <laughs> I believe the first time I encountered Terran was... Uh, in the whoa my god the audio it was when I was restreaming a Russian tournament. <laughs> Chilardi, are you from Panama? <laughs> Alright, we're gonna see Gyra versus Charlotte. This is a very hard matchup for oh for Gyra. Uh basically all Charlotte's gotta do is block low and hit five A B. But uh she's gotta be pretty Pretty proactive with the buttons because you can 5AB and attempt to anti-air all of Gyra's jumps with that far, far button. 
or should that not work, you can choose to like JA and just keep Gyra out pretty perfectly. Uh, that button will do everything. Gyra in chip range now. Just th throw one of them triangles. <laughs> Boy, okay. <laughs> Yeah, the supercomputer. Yeah, JD Jen. Wow. Ascetic punish. Just get hit and then buffer the move anyway. <laughs> All right, blocks low. Yeah, Charlotte has trouble punishing some things at range. Uh, for stuff like he's really getting a lot of mileage out of this low hit grab. And then close AV is actually a much worse button as an anti-air, which, which is horrible for Charlotte, which is usually why you want to jump back A all the time. Ooh, nice little 6D punish there. There's a link into super. But you have to be careful. Gyra is pretty dangerous without his weapon. And he moves faster. But, you know, if you're not going to use any of the tools you're granted by not having your weapon, you, you got to put the weapon out of your mind sometimes, you know, when you're on Gyra. Because you have access to all of your hit grabs. Uh, your 421A still works very well. You run faster, so all of your, you know, all your little Oki, you're running overhead, your slide, which is super active. Your shout still exists, and shout is busted by itself. Nice DP. There's the triangle, beautiful. Uh, no time for the heavy pursuit there. So this, this is the Charlotte game plan. <laughs> Just... <laughs> I guess JD Jank not ready to block low as soon as he touches the ground. Roll command grab. Heavy pursuit. Back hit. Nice combo. Oh, jumping AB gets stuffed. Nice block. And there's another link into super. Let's see if uh, Termin's plan changes. Oh, but the weapon is dropped right there. Oh, and he rolls past it. Yep, he's trying to use those hit grabs there. At JD Jack just being a <laughs> being a jerk. <laughs> it's beautiful. <laughs> yeah, use those buttons. Use those buttons until Gyra learns how to parry. <laughs> that's that's one of the things that Charlotte's very good at. If your opponent does not know what to do about you hitting A and B all the time. She's allowed to hit those buttons all the time. <laughs> Termin is totally from Russia. They're typing in Russian in the chat. <laughs> Panama is his, uh, that's where his hidden accounts are. <laughs> Against Gyra, Charlotte J.A.B. is, uh, literally jump into Gyra's magnet hand. But, you know, if he doesn't use the move, it's it's like it doesn't exist. So <laughs> Jerk DJ. <laughs> yeah, J2AB also beats out a lot of Charlotte stuff because her buttons, well, it doesn't beat out JA and JB. But when you when you jump at like when you decide to bully with AB, it'll lose to J two AB. Uh, a lot of it will also lose to just well, that's with Gyra's weapon. Charlotte can't really run any of her J B pressure if you just hit eight AB because that'll that'll knock just about anyone that moves out of the air. Oh, we're going to watch Topo Maligno versus Jodamide? Yodamide? I don't know. We're about... Oh, it's about... <laughs> I'm very scared. 
Oh my god, it's so loud. <laughs> Topo Maligno is a very, very fast Yoshitora. Uh, able to move from one place to another in an instant. It's a skill that not many other players have uh, discovered. But it looks like we're getting a very nice frame rate on this stream, so that's exciting. Wait a minute. Oh, all these two players are closer. Are we going to see Topo Maligno in his natural environment? <laughs> With no lag? <laughs> now, I know Topo Maligno usually plays... Yep, there's the red Yoshitora. And we're going to see a Rimu Ruru. So, uh... Regardless of player skill, you know, go to my deserves to lose for playing Reap. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna see a platform here. Uh, you know, it's a shame that that doesn't anti-air. That'd be really cool if it did, you know. It's a nice little trade there. But uh, Rima really wants to get out of the corner so she can run her game. Uh, she is kind of a set play character with a very nice overhead. Oh, jumps through the Subaki, but does not punish from behind. Uh, halfway defense, you know. It's important that you didn't get hit. And Yoshitora jump A, B. Look at it. Catching out of the air. Karabotan. Run up. Finally hits the grab. <laughs> In Topo's basement. <laughs> uh, I don't think there's a donate command, but there is a Macharino. If that's what you're looking for. Goes for the wake up 2AB. Karaboten. Ooh, nice Tsubaki right through the mirror. Too far to punish with overhead. Oh, not quick enough. So when you hit someone with the ice like that, the uh, the ton decay, you can run up like 6-6AB. Oh, and chip range. Yeah, and just hits a 6C. You can run up and confirm off of the ice. <laughs> launching. <laughs> he is launching. <laughs> oh, a switch to Basara. This is uh, another set play character, but a slightly better one, I would say. But Basara has the issue of being made of glass, but that probably shouldn't matter. Rimu also takes increased damage on account of being a child. Uh, Basara is literally a ghost, and his spectral body cannot hold up under the pressure of a real sword. So, taking the second most damage in the game, he is almost dead after 17 seconds. Goes for a puff stomp way too far, or too close for that. Goes for a 2-3-6-A-B it looks like, and just throws his weapon off screen and stands it. <laughs> Right, nice little low, nice. Oh, big DP on wake up. Heavy pursuit, nice. Run up, grab. Are we gonna see another Just jump AB? There it is. Oh, you have to dash forward to confirm that. Yeah, there's there's a little window if you're just gonna do it from that far away. So he gets hit by the super. And now we're just keeping Yoshi Tor off of his weapon and trying not to get hit by overhead. Oh, does not get hit by it, very nice. And Yoshitori is able to pick it up. <laughs> so, Yodamai rolled forward as Yoshitori stood in place. He did overhead too early. So, he's doing overhead while Basara is rolling forward on wake up. Does overhead of his own. Takes the round. And then we get a round start. Slide. Super to punish. <laughs> the 2 3 6 toss. And now, uh, this is going to be real hard for Basara. Real hard. <laughs> Man. You hate to see that. <laughs> Topo Maligno in, in the natural environment, still a very strong player. Pl playing a person in his basement, five ping. <laughs> oh my god. I don't think you guys saw that. But that was <laughs> three ping.
and five ping. Amazing. Oh, are we going to see Sugar Bear on stream? Up and coming Kyoshiro player? <laughs> Let's, let's let's take a look at the match arena. Let's let's see what everyone's playing for. Oh, does it the match arena is now at a hundred dollars and forty six cent? That's a lot of pizza. All right, so pure yeti. I forget who they play. My mind my mind tells Oh what what the hell? Everyone just has volume set to a random number that is always too high. <laughs> I lower the volume every time, and every time my ears are blown out <laughs> as soon as the audio catches. I'm in intense pain. Dima won. That's that's that probably mistake. Dima's an awful player and can't win anything. Uh, fix <laughs> All right. So Kyoshiro is a character that's good for playing neutral, and he also has some very degenerate overheads and air-to-air -air options. He also has a a bag full of anti-air options, and Haomaru is good for robbing your opponent. So let's see what happens. <laughs> You could just say that Homaru simply has the best neutral in the game, but I would I would disagree. Beautiful anti-air. Let him know. Let him know that you can't jump. See, if you get it into your mind that your opponent can't jump, you can start to use a 2B. 2B is a move that has a ton of recovery frames and a whole lot more whiff frames. So it's it's pretty dangerous to use if your opponent likes to jump a lot. But if you show that you can anti-air early on, like Sugar Bear did there. You're, uh, you're freed up to use what is really a great button. Nice anti-air. Excellent presence of mind. Now, uh, the dangerous 50-50s he can do. It's uh, it's important when playing Harmaru to put the Fear of God and AB and 66623 into your opponent's heart. Misses the Heavy Pursuit. Uh, very uncharacteristic of most Howl players. How has a ton of time to hit that Heavy Pursuit. Run up, grab. Let's see some. Let's see some Oki. Uh, no Oki, just a neutral jump. That's fine. Because now, now that you have the lead as Homeru, you don't need to uh, do anything. You you have the lead. Kyoshiro can't really chase you down. But if you continue to push it like you just did, and you jump, and Sugar Bear's shown the anti air and shows it again, you're losing. You kind of uh, kind of hung yourself out to dry in this matchup. Oh, tries the four four two s. A bit risky. And gets punished for it. It's it's pretty tied up right now. Oh, Sugar Bear like pumping the 442 at there it is. Yep. When you see a Kyoshiro back dashing in the corner like that, it's because he's going for that frame one overhead. The uh, the first of the forbidden techniques. It's a move almost too powerful. So powerful that people have <laughs> been kicked from Discord servers due to its abuse. <laughs> yeah, that's what happened. <laughs> Are we going to see Pure Yeti stick to Homaru, or are we going to see a, an Ukiyo? All right. Now, this matchup is it's very hard. Ukiyo, probably one of the few actual rushdown characters in the game. By my standards. Which are the only ones that matter. But, uh, yeah, in this matchup, it's, it's really easy for Ukiyo to harass, keep out, but mostly harass. Yep, run up throw. No pursuit. And goes for overhead. Let's see a big punish here. Oh, you want to AB punish that. It's about... It's a little bit in Kyoshiro's favor here. Nice air-to-air. -air. 
as far as air to airs go, I would say that Ukyo should not be beat out in the air because he has access to Firebird. Not a lot of people use Firebird as an air to air, but you can and you should. Because you cannot let Kyoshiro jump into the air and hit you. Nice Firebird. Chip range here. Uh, if Ukyo does a special... Oh, there's the chip kill. Unblockable. Very nice. I was actually playing Sugar Bear yesterday and talking about doing that on Player's Wake Up. And it's happened. Super nice. Firebird is uh, Subame Gaishi. It's Ukyo's trademark special. It's, it's probably the move that's supposed to be coming out there, because why would you do jumping A? That is Ukyo's other signature move, no AB punish. Nice super punish. Never let a player frog for free. Now, Kyoshiro can actually use a couple of his specials, yep. Like frog. I was going to say he can pick up his weapon with a special, with uh, Chobi Jishi. <laughs> Just hops over Ukyo. Yeah, Ukyo's a small character. So sometimes, like, overheads, other moves will actually move over him, which is, uh, it sucks. No anti-air there from uh, Sugar Bear. You can anti-air with Kyoshiro's buttons. You can, this is going to hurt. Don't touch it. <laughs> Very nice. Wow! Just, just no blocking from Kyoshiro there. Gets beat out by Raw Slash. Uh, he does WFT Chip in Samurai Showdown 7. Good. <laughs> Raw 6-6-B. The cross-up. So all of those uh, ghost slashes Ukyo does, uh, it's very hard to figure out which one you're dealing with unless you... Uh, well, if you don't have sound on, it's pretty hard. That's an A-B punish. Uh, well, at least it was an A punish. But those, uh, those little ghost slashes, all very punishable. That's another A-B punish missed by uh, Sugar Bear. The Sugar Bear Classic. Not punish. <laughs> With the right button. Just hit AB. Just hit AB. That too. Just hit AB. <laughs> that too there. His floaty ass jump. Hit AB. <laughs> nice overhead. And Sugar Bear is going to take it. Now I'm looking at the, uh, the score reporting chat and it looks like we are we are thinning out to the uh, higher level players pretty quickly. There's a lot of two O's in here, is what I'm saying. Oh, Soji. Oh my god. <laughs> my co-commentator? I think so. I was invited, right? Yes. I, I talked to Aru about getting you on the microphone. All right. So how is the voice? I think it's okay. Volume and everything. Yeah, you sound good. Great. Oh, low drag is straight. Low drag is you. Uh, looks like low drag is in a practice lobby right now, just waiting, waiting for an opponent to join. You know, practicing is. Uh, oh, that that's some hidden tech. I can't tell you guys about this. <laughs> Oh my god. I hope he doesn't use that on the You can't use that on someone. Oh my god. He's working on it. Oh, oh, there it is. Is it is that what I think? Oh my god. Well, well. I'm glad he's I'm glad he's finally started to use that. If he pulls that off, I'll be very happy. Oh. We should tell everyone that's only for the videos. You cannot perform that in. Yeah, you in can. <laughs> you can't do that to you know real players. It's you'd be banned immediately. No, no, no. It's not actual gameplay. He's just in a practice lobby waiting for his opponent to join. We're just messing around. So are we going to have, uh, this is Lodrak, the, uh, American player versus, uh, Liquid, which I believe is a, some degenerate from Bosnia. <laughs> a Basara player, I believe. 
We're gonna see a big AB hitting Basara. Basara is going to die in one shot. Let's see. Good luck, Bolt. Ooh, nice anti air backdash toss. Oh, that's the first whiff AB of the match. Yeah. Oh, wow. The priority. The puff actually beats out the tip of the sword. No, I know you can actually jump on all kinds of projectiles with puff, but I didn't know you could also do it to uh, certain normals. And there's another AB. <laughs> the Zonkaro special. It was faster than the, the puff. Zonkaro is uh, he's considered to be the worst character by uh, a lot of people that make tier lists and things. But nice, punish. But uh, yeah. oh. Basara, as played by the computer, is probably the hardest character to deal with because of the speed of his AB buttons and the presence of his frame one counter. Beautiful duck! <gasps> Are we gonna see oh. it? Uh, we didn't fuck. Oh. oh. Woo! <laughs> we almost Cutting saw down. something amazing. But uh, Lodrak going for the much safer play of just hitting AB. I, I did not think <laughs> that he would have an opportunity to use Before the dark me. technique. <laughs> and Basara has little HP anyway, so it would have yes. been interrupted in the mid mid combo. Yes, definitely. If Basara got hit by that, he definitely would rage explode. So, yeah, this matchup is basically Zankuro fishing for the correct AB punish, because once once he gets it, it's the game is his. <laughs> as as you saw, to AB? two seconds, that, that was it. Yeah. Bossra has to walk on the tightrope here. He has to use almost every tool at his disposal just to not get hit. But, you see? <laughs> just one AB punish, Bossra's getting too loose with the puff. Puff is cool and all. But if you get the wrong angle, you're gonna you're gonna get hit by that AB. True. Normal grab, big pursuit, Bossara. Bossara, I mean Zonkaro. Zonkaro's uh, low pursuit has a ton of active frames. You can you can put it wherever it'll it'll hit. This was easy for Zonkaro. This is very easy for Zonkaro. I guess uh, Liquid needed more. More defense, more blocks. Yeah, more defense, more practice, uh, better jokes, yeah. probably. So this was been decided to be done on Discord after all streaming. That's that's quite yeah. something. It's, it's quite something. Well, some people, for some people, it works fine. For some, I bet it doesn't because some players play still play Sam Show 5 because they have a low spec computer sometimes. Yeah. But hopefully, out of the two, somebody can uh, stream it. So it looks like uh, Emu Fun is going to be playing against Sugar Bear. This should be a very good match. Uh, hopefully, if the uh, if the stream works, I Sugar Bear streamed before, so hopefully they can do it again. It was all right. Sugar Bear is in the restroom. Well, I think what we're gonna see from this matchup is uh, going to be a Ghetto versus Kyoshiro. And there's a small chance of it being Suija versus Kyoshiro. Uh, what, what do you think of that matchup? Uh, Suija versus Kyoshiro? Yeah. I, I was checking in the chat. Uh, I haven't seen too much of Suija uh, been playing around. I guess maybe it's 50-50 as far as I'm as a, as a first thought. Yeah. Because uh, Kyoshiro has some of the tools to space out uh, Suija and also has uh, has some anti-airs. I guess 
but still Suija can do some mix-ups and maybe he can get in quite fast. If Suija decided to step up his deflect game, then we might see something. Yeah, I think if, if Suija gets a deflect, he can get a ton of damage. I Because I've seen Emu Fun play, and I'm pretty sure that he can do it. So if he were to land a parry, he could do the, the low bubble, deep hit, run up, 2AB spin combo. He can do all That's, kinds of stuff. Yeah, this is the best case scenario, but when we're out there on the stage, we're kind of hard to, to, to pull it Rain off sometimes. <laughs> this, I did not expect this. All right. So the chat says my voice is it's okay, the sound and everything. So this matchup is probably a lot harder for Kyoshiro. Kyoshiro dealing with a set play character that has He's buttons that he will trade with from so far away. Well, not if you just run into all the waves. Nice jump back air to air. <laughs> He's running into the water. <laughs> usually, you do not see that. People usually block that. <laughs> yeah, or they can hop, hop over it. That's the best case scenario. I think I think Rimu can even do an overhead over it. Or does it not Maybe. move her forward enough? Mm. Yeah. Oh. Nice whiff punish. Sugar Bear recognizing too far for 2AB anti-air there. Now, Kyoshiro's projectile, his, uh, his wave on the ground, it has the, the strange quality, depending when you throw it out or maybe which wave you use, it will eat other grounded projectiles but not trade with them. So you saw how it ate Rimu's ice there. Uh, sometimes it'll eat Jubei's ground fireball and keep going, you know, to hit yeah, Jubei. Yeah, yeah. Uh, That's kind of strange. I, I still like don't that. figure the... Um... Which one is priority over what, sometimes? Yeah, I, I should probably ask or uh, test it out myself. Usually when I play Kyoshiro, I try not to use it at all. It's good when you do it far away, I guess. You can use it for the cheap damage. It's, I guess it's especially good against other players that try to throw fireballs back at you. Especially if they're grounded. And we see a nice air-to-air -air AB in Kyoshiro. Sugar Bear is doing fine. Sugar Bear doing very well. Been, pl and, been playing a whole have, lot recently. They have 50 uh, MS, I think. That's mm -hmm. in their advantage. I think uh, Emu Fun is in the New York area. Or at least very close to it. Alright, so here's the ghetto. Yep. Let's see some roll command grab. In this case, I would favor Kusaragedo, actually. Because yes. Kyoshiro wants the spacing game, and Kusaragedo can get in by uh, the command grab. That's the command grab, and it's tied up. <laughs> Boom. All, the, all the work Kyoshiro has just put in, doesn't matter. Yeah. But Sugar Bear is very fast on these air-to-air -air buttons, which is going to help out a whole lot. I, okay, that was a missed it. command grab. Yeah. And this is it. This was it. I think this guy was playing a bit too fast. We get little interruptions. Oh, too slow on the frog punish. Yeah, so now Ghetto can back up. He can kind of just play around with just, you know, neutral B. Nice. Oh, nice tick command grab. Buffered in the jab. Beautiful. Nice overhead. I think Sugar Bear needs to use more uh, fire breath here. Oh, nice frog. Exactly. Since uh, Kusaragedo is a big target, he can backdash into the spin. Kyoshiro. Kinda easy. So Ooh. what we just saw is the uh, Ghetto has like a classic time slow setup, where he'll do time slow, he'll hit the ground for the hands, and then if you jump, he does e send, and then if you get hit by the hands, he also does e send because the hands are unblockable. But Kyoshiro jumps so high. So high, exactly. <laughs> that it does not work on him. Until nice he lands, oil. until he lands, your eyes and is gone. Yep. Oh, he hit with that. I did not think he get hit with AB. that. Oh, oh, nice, nice hop 
but no punish. Yeah. We should see more uh, um, punish from Kyoshiro with 2 AB, I guess, because Kusaragedo is jumping a lot. Uh, Kusaragedo is so big that 2 AB also works from the ground. You can do it in his uh. face and it'll hit him. Oh! Ooh. Nice That's evade. Nice. Very nice. Emufan showcasing all of Ghetto's tools here, doing doing buffers on on recoil, doing buffers on hit, doing buffers in jabs, using the evade, right, using so the right time now, plus setups. We're seeing Asian players. Uh, these are American players. American players, both of them. Okay. But we don't usually see these players. Yes, yeah, uh, Sugar Bear is a much newer player, and the Emu Fun does not play online, or plays very little online. Okay. Oh, no punish on that AB. Nice. So every time Ghetto jumps in the air and hits a button too early, Kyosho is going to follow him up there and hit a much faster air normal. So yeah, so now when Ghetto jumps, he's waiting to hit that button. Oh, waited too long. And that will beat out 2AB, that big spin. On AB? Nope. Nice! Buffer! Off Very the overhead. Good. Hey, uh, Term and Gary Yunfei is not that bad of a matchup. You have to use a uh, 8AB and Shout. Shout is enormous. <laughs> oh, this is going to be a big punish. Funny. Yep. Chobijishi usually use only for chip, or or if you know someone is gonna like throw a like if Jubei is trying to do his big fireball as soon as you wake up. Nice grab. Uh, yeah, and that uh, move it also works without the weapon. I think it automatically catches your weapon. Yeah, it picks up your weapon. Uh, Kyoshiro seems kind of panic in close range. I see. Yeah. He doesn't use the the C button at all. Oh, this is going to be great. Oh, and too too far. Oh no! It hits Ghetto up higher there. in the air, so you have to All you right. have to DP if you want to hit him yeah. again. <laughs> nice over. And the BC wins every time. <laughs> but now uh, Ghetto has time slow going into this. Yeah. Either Kyoshiro plays very safely with using the time, either he kind of screwed. All right, we have uh, low Genki on Kusara Ghetto. So that was good, lower damage. Nice AB. Just trying to keep him out at range. It's, it's about yeah. this time where we're, we might see a roll command grab to get through yeah, all these little it. Keep closing it. And jump or do something. Ah. He wants to get close by jumping. And he's uh, he's not timing it correctly, the, uh, the puke into hit. He's trying to go for AB, but... It's taking too long. You have to go for a faster button there. Maybe regular B. Nice air to air. All right. So Kyoshiro kind of listened to what I said. <laughs> oh, Ooh. rage explosion buffer into command grab. I, I think it's the same. The same damage. I think it doesn't affect. It yes, by it does not get affected by rage. Ooh. So Emufun is rolling, but he's not command grabbing at the end of it. Is he? Is he rolling to see how Sugar Bear reacts? But uh, you know, you don't you don't have that much time to figure out how sometimes, they're gonna react when your health is that. Sometimes low. when you play in a in a tournament, you're full of adrenaline and you're just smashing buttons, and it's not the same thing like you play chilled. Very nice from Sugar Bear. So we are hoping to see a switch action, but we haven't. Let's see, let's see. Who is next? Yeah. We're gonna see Big Gucci D up next. <laughs> A uh, Kazuki player, also from the States, versus Moo Master, who I have not seen play. Breaker's Revenge player.
Big Gucci D's long. That is so loud. Why is it so loud? The object okay, without any let let them see in input. Yeah, they're on like 30 ping. I I would yeah, okay. so, so for myself for uh, for every 100 ping I use one bar of latency delay. That's that's about what I do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mina and Kazuki not so great for Mina because Kazuki can jump AB so easily. Well, not not a lot of people play Mina, so maybe uh, Big Gucci D is unfamiliar with the matchup. But I have played Big Gucci D quite a bit, so I know that they're a competent player. But you know, people people come sometimes panic around Mina because they uh, they get mad. Yeah, but when you know she has a little HP, you know, if you're gonna close in, you're gonna punish her some somehow. But this guy's play uh, rather fine. I see an A, B, I see a C button, that's good. Oh, jumps back, probably by- there it is. it is! Oh, with the rage explosion. That's exactly what you were talking about. Yeah. And the back hit, I guess. Just one hit, 70% <laughs> life. Yeah, Kazuki is very good at punishing jumps. Oh, lucky pants. And as you can see, Kazuki is playing really defensive, and that's a good thing. And he blocks most of the uh, low and high cross ups. Yeah, usually the way you lose against Mina is by being impatient and trying to run at her yeah, exactly. while she is moving around. Oh, nice. Ooh, nice. He sends the fireball. Oh, it's close for me now. Oh, nice. nice. Yeah, one of the things that Mina can get away with is uh, changing her jump arc by using that arrow in the air. So it's much harder to anti air her because she's not where she should be with a regular jump. Let's see a punish. Oh, this is the grab. Okay, it's good so far. Boom boom. Dashing. Punished. Now, Big Gucci D has to stop running here. You have to walk. Ooh, oh, me dead. <laughs> <Don't> be... <laughs> bye bye. Stop running, I say. And he, put, he hit her twice, so that's all you need. <laughs> <laughs> that's why you have the low HP characters in a uh, little bit lower on the tier list. Yep. Because of these particular things. You just play, 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 you mash your buttons and eventually you get hit by one AB, like we saw in Basara, and you're out of the game. And it's like, Kazuki is not even, uh... Mina could die even faster. She could die in one hit. Some characters only need a single hit and she loses everything. Literally. Yeah, uh, I think uh, Kazuki can punish most of her stuff by running in AB. Like for now, this was not the best example, but like here. Yeah, right there. He can. Yeah, when she when she recovers from the jumping B, for example, he can dash and A B most of the time. Oh, run up throw from Mina. Let's see it. That's good. That's good. Because you don't, don't expect yep. it. You don't expect it. Everyone thinks Mina is going to run away the whole time. So sometimes exactly. Gets exactly. Away with... Oh, six six A B is not punished. Uh oh. Overhead arrow? Yep, there it is. I'm sticking. And find the So it looks like what, what Kazuki wants to do is get Mina in the corner. Get Mina scared, because Mina's usually trying to jump out of the corner. And then you want to just AB. Yeah, yeah. So right here, you want to get ready to jump into the air and AB. Like right there? Uh you could have caught her at the beginning of it. 
Yeah. Ooh, missed input. Oh, nice. Ooh, Down AD. AD. Here. That is very good. So now Kazuki just has to be patient. Yeah. You he can just... block everything. Yeah. Second by second. <laughs> it's forced Mina to come to you. But still, he needs to oh, be short very legs. Unfortunately. vigilant. Yeah. Nice. Dash C, followed by Big Pursuit. Oh, he started to block it. It's good block. Like, block is... Very uh, nice. The most under underrated move is blocking. <laughs> when it comes yep. to new players. New players? Ooh. They don't know blocking's name. Nice yeah. throw. Pursuit? No pursuit. Nice. We're just gonna see a setup. Setup, yeah. Hops and jump, maybe. And the BC. Yeah, so big, big Gucci D kind of figured it out in those last two games. He changed his playstyle from uh, kind of passive, he stepped up. He started hopping over yeah. a, lot, a lot of the low arrows. Because uh, sometimes Mina players, uh, they only use low arrow and like anti air arrows, when sometimes they just need to stick out a B arrow to stop people from hopping. You have to keep people on their toes. And also the B one is good. The down A I think is also good. Yeah, it's... Yeah, it was a pretty good match. It was good. We, I, I like when people block. And Big Gucci D had some good blocking on those setups and everything. Oh, is is Lodrak back? Lodrak is sharing screen. All right. Will Lodrak eventually win the tournament? I'm pretty Maybe. sure. Maybe. Uh, I know that Argyle is in the bracket. Argyle is very strong Kazuki player. Uh, is he actually in? Because we haven't. I haven't seen any of his games. Chat, do you know if Argyle is in the tournament? Ah, uh, Argyle got DQ'd. We're gonna believe you. He didn't show up. 183. And no, no delay. Know. <laughs> He's not scared. <laughs> <laughs> Lodrak versus Green Leo Waifu. Uh, that's not delay. I don't know the net code words. Run up throw. Now, technically, these are two two awful characters playing against each other, but they're both good players, so it's going to be a good match. Yeah, I guess nice w once you don't see a good a good player playing the strongest one character, you wouldn't put him in a in a higher on tier list. For example, yeah. even if you see, uh, I don't know, Gera maybe, or Kusaragedo being best character, if he would have been played as a, only by bad players, you would have said he's a lower until his tier list. If that makes any sense. Yeah. When, what, what's more important right now is the, uh, you know, it has to the be a good player. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I wanted to say, like, I would favor in this matchup the, the piggy command grab. It's very good, yeah. Yeah, like, both characters have almost nice the same, same range, maybe. Close to mid, big hit, no. Oh, no whiff punish. On the yeah, because, yeah, because when Mizuki has power, you usually want to block. She can cancel it again into the, into the special move, and she's quite nasty. Nice roll command grab. And we have low drag. With little HP. Nice hop into normal grab. Alright. Oh, Ooh, yep, just AB again. I think Don't Mizuki move. wanted to, to uh, dash grab. Mm -hmm. Unblockable seals. <laughs> big punch <laughs> into pursuit. Nice. Big damage. 
and just hits A B to stop Mizuki from moving forward. Uh oh. <laughs> Lord Rack was so close of losing it, but eventually he got it. He he found A B and he said I'm going to win. Yeah, this is the difference of this game rather than other games. You have a big damage button instead of using combos, like in Street Fighter, for example. King of Fighters. Oh, doesn't punish with uh, with AB there, even though he hopped through and Blanca anti-air. Wake up command grab. Yeah, don't stay close when somebody has a command grab, otherwise you'll get Instantly command grab. Oh, and the low and... fireball catches the roll. Yeah, Ippon. <laughs> Too late, baby. Nice Why punish. For deep... Nice anti air super. Oh Is no! It? Oh, are we oh, gonna see it? it? Oh my oh. god! Oh no! Oh. Oh. I what I wanted to because what I said part. what I said earlier you couldn't do it actually in the in gameplay I wanted Lodra to contradict me by using by playing it. These matches are getting good. Nice throw and just just A B. Yeah, One of the time, things that works. Zankaro can do is uh, when you're really close. Ooh. Nice super. Are we, let's see the time slow. You don't Ooh. want to get punched. Oh, no, them. you need the time slow. <laughs> ah, because if Zankar doesn't have his weapon, he can't rage explode. So. It was intense. Both players fighting for the position. Use delay, use delay. Oh, this, is, this was the end, sorry. I think, I think that's it. I was yeah. going to say, one of the things Zonkuro can do is if Zonkuro is very close to you, and Zonkuro can just hit A, B, because if you backdash, it'll hit you. If yeah. you jump, it'll hit you. Uh, yeah. and if you block it in his face, he can recoil into, well... Something, something. Into something. Usually, if, if you recoil A, B, you can just hit overhead. I don't think Zonkuro can do anything about you hitting overhead on recoil, because his, fire goal, his fireball gets jumped over. The uh, the shoulder will hit you out of the air, unless you're like Charlotte or Gyra. And um, the counter won't catch a uh, an overhead move because it's in the air usually. Yeah, some sometimes A B on some character is good in close up, where because it beats hop, it beats back dash like you said. It can beat also straight jumping. So that's but that's what we see from. Uh, Low jack there is just what if I just hit AB and then if, if they move, you're suddenly winning because they take 60% left. <laughs> now we're gonna watch uh JD Jank versus Topo Maligno. Uh, let's let's see some teleportation. <laughs> nice jump back, B. Nice throw. We're gonna see a setup. Yes, we are. But it trades with uh, DP. Now, Charlotte actually can press six C every single time Yoshitori does Subaki, and hit him out of it. No matter which one, I think. Both characters are very pokey. They like to poke. So when I play versus Charlotte, I try to bait into deflects. Yes, Charlotte is very weak to deflect because her buttons are so good. It's uh, very interesting. Right. Yoshitora is also very weak to deflect because he likes to hit uh, B, B a. all yeah. the time. <laughs> uh, Big punish? I, I would call Topo Maliglo lact lactastic. This is very, <laughs> he's known for... Uh, Okay. Lag in the community. Oh, no, uh, no, a saga off the back hit. Big pursuit.
Nice throw. We're we gonna see a triangle. Yeah, this matchup was good, but we are gonna use, we're gonna see the lag, the lag frustration. <laughs> the whiffs. Oh, back hit. Punish. Yeah, you have to be careful with uh, your timing on wake up because if you if you're too impatient, your opponent can roll through you and punish you. Let's see a time slow from JD Jank. Yeah, time slow, please. Oh, oh yep, block, block this. Oh, okay. Very nice. You just jump over it. It works. Oh, tries to DP, but it's too slow. Nice air to air. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> He reacted. But to when move, Charlotte does not have her weapon, she has access to her highest damage move. 6 6 C. Well, this might be the end. It's looking like Tofu's going to take this first round, Ooh. yes. DP versus DP. <laughs> Funny ending. JD Jank hitting start to skip win poses. <laughs> Oh, my suggestion is to use one bar of input latency for 100 ms you have. This is really sketchy. It's like playing on Fightcade or yeah, GGPO. It's, it's very <laughs> scary. But, uh, as far as the matchup goes, I think uh, JD Jank should... All right, we saw the reflect. That's a good thing. I don't it. think he should DP. I think he should try to air to air with uh, like jump back A. It's faster. This is good. Nice. Time is ticking. <gasps> Heavy pursuit is too slow. He gets punished. Nice back hit. Back hit. Usually, when you get a back hit like that, you want to go into a lion lance. The the throw. Nice DP. You have more options, yeah. Deflect. Oh, there's a deflect. Yes, as you were saying. Oh. All right, and hold your horses. Use a time advantage. Ooh. No. <gasps> Catches back dash. Come on, come on, do something. Yep, just and... block. Just block. Oh, that was a really good attempt. He got the guess right. He just didn't have enough time. Yeah, the audio is kind of strange, isn't it? Yeah, the audio is a little buggy right it's, now. It's the the lag. <laughs> Even sound cannot hold. We saw a jump AB from Charlotte. <laughs> oh, it's just not blocking though. Forward, yeah. I think the cross up messed him up. Blocks the jump, AB. <gasps> nice block. Oh, no, punish. no punish. Yeah, Yoshitora just kind of running, just running away all the time, going for cross ups. Is that an anti air super? Yeah, he was hit by. But well, Yoshitora can fine. probably run away or jump C. There, it's a jump C. Jump C, yeah. Very fast button. On some characters, uh, I think Charlotte's too short, but on some characters, it's an instant overhead. Misses the heavy pursuit. Nice punish. JD Jank is, is very good with these DPs. Just have to be careful not to get parried here. Good All throw. Right. Doesn't look very good for Yoshitora at the moment. Oh, again, you want you want to punish that with like uh, with three C slide or maybe Lion Lance. Yeah, but Charlotte decided for his defensive stance at this moment. Charlotte's He's waiting for the time too short. and also for the Eisen. He's waiting for the Eisen and time slow. Mm -hmm. That's a good thing. You see, you definitely already... don't want to jump. Yeah, too defensive. 
and ABC Yoshitora only only option right here. Alright, well, the timer's frozen mm -hmm. and Yoshitora has very high damage now. He can still pull it off, but it's hard. Like deflect or something? Uh, nice. Yeah. Just blocking, very good blocking from JD Jenks there. I'm surprised that uh, Topo Maligno did not try to throw. Maybe he was worried about uh, getting hit by like a kick. Are we going to see Genjiro? Yeah, it's okay, actually. I would favor this matchup for Genjiro because he has the DP. Yes, he has a very nice DP and also exactly. his cards. Mm -hmm. Heavy Pursuit? Oh, could have been not heavy to go pursuit. for it. Yep. Outside of range, very close. So uh, there was a tournament a couple of weeks ago where people were talking about Genjiro. And one of the things they said is that every time Genjiro does a card, he should go in. Uh, I don't think that's true. Because what's really important about Genjiro is his card is really good for mix-ups. But everyone knows that. So sometimes you want to card and then just defend whatever they do to try to escape the mix-up. And that's how you get your damage. Yeah, yeah, but uh, card makes your opponent to block, and you can use. Oh, that was a mistake. And he just he just quit. No. <laughs> Close is <laughs> the game. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Genjur has lots of mix-ups. You know, he can either go for down, down a uh, B, or he can go for down C, or he can go for a uh, A B, whatever. He can use a cross-up. Oh, he hits AB too many times, and he gets the splash found. JD Jank is card, cracking. Card nice jump. Card set up again. Oh, too fast. <gasps> punish? Could have been a common, common grab. Ooh, nice. Again, you're so aggressive to play at uh, time slow sometimes. Time... Uh, Time, yeah. He's gone. <laughs> I, I heard lots of players saying, oh, these guys play uh, time game, la la. And uh, they see it as a, as a bad bad thing, you know? This is the, the difference. Uh, Sam Show is not a 99 uh, time, it's a 60. So you should use that in your advantage whenever you can. Yes, it, it goes by a lot faster than you think. Yeah. That's why you see most of the time. Uh, good players block, and they just weave, weave lower, some lower slashes, and eventually it all comes to the time. Because if I block and you block, we we cannot uh, we cannot end the round. Why is it so loud every time? Ten, uh, ten loudness. Some have it smaller. Valohi, I know this name. This is a player from, from uh, New York. I've I've played him a couple of times. So vamos. I believe Vato plays Yunfei. Use a delay. Is a delay. That's why. Ah. That's why Steam is better than most of other platforms. And you're right. We see the Yunfei. So uh, I think it will be very funny when uh, Yunfei is flying around and he gets hit by Music He Super. Uh, I'm predicting <laughs> that that's going to happen right At now. At some point. But we see the Yung, the Yunfei playing good. I mean, he plays okay. Oh, nope, missed the pursuit there. But now Mizuki has rage. And, oh, here it comes. <laughs> here it comes. Oh, the hops. Nice hop to avoid the throw. <laughs> and that and was fun. Vato not being tricked by Mizuki Super. He stops flying when she starts using it. It's good. Yep. Maybe maybe they both heard you and he's just faking, faking it, waiting yeah, for it to happen. Don't listen to me. <laughs> I 
Actually, this is this is a, a bad experience to listen to the commented commentators because they're not focused on your game, and some commentator cannot see uh, the game that you're seeing. Oh, nice! Immediate prediction of the jump. All right. Oh, nice. Yep, just neutral jump A, B, you know, to punish anything that happens up close. And then just fly in, A, B, fly away. It looked kind of easy for you, okay, unfortunately. Yeah, a lot of people don't have experience playing against Yonfei, so they don't know what to do a lot of the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Yonfei is kind of okay character. I find it's rather okay. I think for a long time, the best Japanese player was a Yonfei player. And then hmm. at the Evo Japan, uh, Yonfei player won, I think. Or was it was it a Yonfei player? Or was that a different SNK uh, tournament in Japan? Too slow with the punish. I kind of missed the scene at some point. Yep, Vato knows all about Mizuki Super. He won't. I, you know, I said it would happen, and I was right. <laughs> I said it would happen, and I was right. I didn't say anything. Ooh. Oh, run up command. <laughs> he seems so confident. I'm gonna pick up my weapon and kill you. But, but Piggy comes in. Ooh, deep hit. Oh, nice deep hit, but oh, he doesn't know what to do. Ooh. <laughs> nice Found deep the... hit for music. Music, he has the deep hit combo. And oh no! And <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to say that Yunfei. He could have dashed forward. I wanted to say that Yunfei found no Mizuki's uh, weakness by just jumping, but wasn't true. After all, it was just bait for him to jump. Yeah, right. my curse is in full effect. Nice anti-air super, wow. Usually Yunfei uh, doesn't get to use that because he shouldn't be in rage, but you know what? If you have it, Yunfei super is very good. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I can see the Mizuki player frustration. Because Yunfei dictates the, the pace of the game. Yep, like posi position and everything. Back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you cannot uh, do anything like Mizuki. To... Ooh, that was a perfect. Yep. Dash up throw. <laughs> Instant screen close. Exactly. Oh, no, 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 perfect screen. All right. I, I respect that. I respect that. Oh, Frame you... perfect stream close. In Russia, no one plays Yonfei. <laughs> in, in Russia, nobody plays Samsho. Yeah. Oh, Green Leo? Uh, it's probably the... I think Green Leo and Spy. No, I'm Joe Drag is back. Oh! We have Spy in. Oh, this is top eight. Let's see if Lodrak can overcome the uh, the Chilean lag. Mm. I think Topo Maligno has an uh, upper game because he's used in playing lags. And of us, all of a sudden, when you he's beat the player, lag, lag. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he used it in his advantage. But this is not so bad. 180, that's okay. On Steam, you're it's more than perfect. That's what I thought too. <laughs> And then, <laughs> yeah, no R Russians. Russians do play some show for quite some time now, but uh, they lack a very, very strong player, kind of. Yeah, I think right now Spy is the best Russian player. So let's let's see some uh, 
after KB. he fought himself also. Yeah, I don't know what to say about this matchup. We'll just have to see what happens. There's the AB, first AB. Yeah, well, you can cancel it. It's a Ooh, very nice good anti air. A lot of people don't know, but Zankaro uh, 3C is a very funny anti air. It works very well. <laughs> it would, in this matchup, it will probably work better than 2 AB because Yoshitora's uh, jump AB starts from so high. Oh, misses the heavy pursuit. The close AB was lucky. Oh, you can't get away with roll super here. Yeah, you need to be lucky. Heavy pursuit, very nice. With the bigger Genki Goich, that's good. Oh, he's just, AB hits. It's hitting AB. Tofu Malegno is moving around so much that just sticking out AB is usually a good idea. Again! Zankuro can super! Oh. Okay, it goes for the throw. That was really fast. Is, uh, is top 8 first to 3? Okay. 2 out of 3 until finals. Alright, we get immediately the Genjiro pick. Ooh. So yeah, Genjiro... here, yeah. I, I sorry. I would I would favor Genjiro because only of the command grab. That's why. This command grab this is matchup. very good. But yeah. and the card setups because Zankuro can be a little uh, defensive sometimes. Uh, when Genjiro does card, uh, Zankuro can A B. The card will hit him, but the A B will still the A B will trade very well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also... In this case, in this case, you want to block like you said earlier. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, wow! Yeah. Uh, what do you want to can also use uh, his counter to catch Rekka. He can do counter in between hits of Rekka because it's frame yeah. one. Indeed, indeed. I think this is a very cool matchup because of yeah. how a uh, counter yeah. works. And like both character needs to to zone. You zoning. AB. Yeah. Big punch. Oh, misses the pursuit. Genjiro does not punish and he gets a throw. Wow. <laughs> it's so fast. The ending was similar. <laughs> it's just like, like before. Like just before. 30 seconds into the last round, have HP, grab, and bye bye. Keep one. Who is now? Are we gonna be watching Sugar Bear play in the Sugar Bear top eight? Where's the bracket? Well, who just joined the channel? Okay. So, so Bean Sprouts, Bean, Bean Sprouts isn't playing. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, Bean Sprouts is not it. You were saying? Uh, the Kyoshiro Kazuki matchup is. Kyoshiro cannot use his overhead to jump over Kazuki's fireball like he can with a lot of other people. So. That was the it's first thing I thought about with this matchup. I don't know why. Kinda not knowing to be Kazuki because you want to close in and Kyoshir wants to keep you. Yeah, no one really plays five perfect because you have to play it on the uh, the Epic Game Store version, and also it's it's not different from five special at all. There's uh, some new colors, but. That's that's kind of it. The matchmaking isn't great uh, for keyboard players. You cannot do some quarter circle moves, I think. No, there's a samurai showdown six. Mm. 
nice run grab. Uh, Big Uchi G is really just sitting on the lead. Yeah, he's he's backing away. Yeah. He's running the clock down. Very smart. This is it. Yeah. And also, when he's trying to hit you, you can you um, get your blue bar higher, mm -hmm. and you're good. Ooh, big fireball. That would be scary. This is scary. And his defensive must be good on reacting. Nice but Kyoshi cannot, 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 cannot do too much, yeah? Because he cannot just run, grab, because he's too slow. Yeah, you have to be very close to get away with run, grab. Yeah. Nice pursuit. But he's done, he done good so far. Yes, he has the advantage now, and he's in the corner. He can 4 4 2 S. Oh, throws him out of the corner. Makes it a little bit harder. Just back he's up. He's a little back bit all too more. <laughs> he's too defensive, kind of. He's too defensive. He's just pressing the back button. Success, successful to grabs. Oh, but it's working out pretty well for him. Yeah. I like these two rounds. This was really strong. The fight K2 does not go over anymore. It's I funny when we, we, we both are silenced. We are watching, like, so intense. <laughs> no, the collection is fine. It's just if you want to play the game with other people, it's bad. Some show, some all, show all the games best. work, <laughs> unless you have a keyboard. Like there was Kylera, it was 2DF, it was GGPO, it was Red GGPO, it was Supercade, Fightcade, Fightcade 2, whatever, but uh, Steam version beats them hands down. Oh, there's a tech throw from Kazuki. He waits extra long before the throw hit, you know, to run the clock down. <gasps> oh, there's a frog. But Kyoshiro oh, no. can't heavy pursuit because of the fireball. Yep. The Back spin? dash is gonna yeah. be 2S, yeah. yes. Ooh, that's so. Oh no, He's... Kyoshiro can't jump there what? because his jump is too slow. He should have Aizen. I mean, I mean, not now because it was late, but Aizen would have been a better choice. Nice C. Nice overhead to catch the run up. Uh, this was really close. I bet Gucci, Big Gucci D is like, ah, why they lost this right now? Yeah, Big Gucci D was doing very well. And then? Yeah. And he was not doing very well. He Hope also could course. have died to a chip from Kyoshiro. No, he's deaf. They're both deaf. Yeah. I see very little of um, the. F How do I say? The firebread? Firebread, yeah. Oh, yeah, Kyoshiro. The firebread. I mean, you would say that's bad, but when you mix it, the A version, the B version, the AB version, you can kind of trick your opponent, we not yes. end, or get off punish. I also think... Uh, and, use, and use the the chip, yeah. Kazuki can't even punish it that well, he can get like 6-6 six, six AB. Yeah, yeah. And that's not that much damage, so you know, you should, you should probably use it. Uh, it's situ situational, either way. But still... In my opinion, you should try to use every every bit of your character. Well, except, some some except have... the rolling. Kyoshiro should never roll. <laughs> yeah. Roll forward, you mean? Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, time is ticking good again. This yeah, is this good. is very patient from both players, but uh, Kyoshiro is is gonna have to push the attack. Oh. Nice hop. Yeah. Yeah. Kazuki running the timer down. Usually Kazuki sometimes... Yeah, usually. Kazuki tries to play like a rush down, but against a character like Kyoshiro, nice cross-up. Mm -hmm. Heavy pursuit. Yeah, your rush down can be interrupted by a poke. A B-poke or A-B-poke. Is it? So Kazuki just wants to get the advantage and sit back, because if Kyoshiro has to run at him, he can probably do whatever he wants. Yeah, I wanted to say that Kyoshiro BC can be rather safe. 
Yeah, if it's... at max range, it's... Kazuki can't really do yeah. anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he's already hitting uh, the 2B most of the time. And uh, conditioning your opponent to block low. And eventually you can use the PC just like here. Just like that. Yeah, yeah. But let's see. Kazuki can get angry and punish him. Oh, tries to go for Chobi Jishi. Oh, yeah, you can't jump. All right. Not against Kazuki. Okay. There's the fire I breath. Wanted, I wanted to say the fire breath. Yeah, it will save you some time. I think Kyosho has life lead. Yep. Yeah. But he should have been... Uh, like, one chip damage, I think he would have lost it. Run command grab. The poke is good. Don't be. Just throwing yeah. the waves now. So Kazuki already was conditioned to block low. You see at this range. It was two or three down B. Nice combo. Charge the fireball? Yes. Oh, blocks he the overhead. The but, yeah, oh, yeah. He contradicted me. Yeah, you don't really have what to do when your opponent is defensive as, as Kyoshiro, isn't it? But I think he's in range where he just dies to Isen now. So if, if Kazuki jumps... Right? If, oh, oh I would have used either. Oh I no! You better... Oh, you could recoil cancel into Fatality and that would have that would have caught him. That would have been super cool. But this is 1-1 uh, one, one now, and I think... Yeah. Wait, this has taken did, longer than any other match. <laughs> uh, didn't uh, Sugar Bear won the first Sugar one? Bear won the I don't, first one. I don't, okay, yeah. Wait, wait, the brackets weren't, weren't updated. It's good. That overhead was too close. Too close, yeah. Chushiro overhead is, is so large that, you know, max range you can... Oh, no combo. But yeah. nice punish anyway. Nice AB. <laughs> Chobi Jishi just stuffed the forward movement. Interesting. Again! I guess they're on purpose. Unless he's trying to do fire breath every time. Oh, he faked the the grab, but didn't follow. Yeah, and then ch jumps or, back. Kershaw's jump back is too slow. Yeah, or it was only mistake. Ooh, that was lucky. Yeah, that's what you have to do. You have to predict that Kazuki's going to try to come up there, and then 2S <laughs> as he jumps up. <laughs> if you want to uh, beat Kazuki yeah, in the air. Yeah, because sometimes you just react on jumpings. Like, you know you have a, a better priority attack in the in the air and you react it, but Kyoshiro can beat you. You just have to, to think the matchup uh, when it's starting. This is my opinion. Like, every time you start your, your matchup, you think yourself to yourself, what is the best... Uh, what is my best range? What is my best uh, uh, attacks on the, versus, versus this character? What is his best? How can I counter his best position and everything? Yeah, that's interesting. 40 seconds into the, the game and... The oh, Kyosho right. now has the lead. Kazuki's gonna have to run over. Blocks? <gasps> no punish no on punish. the overhead. Yeah, he could've gone for the grab, I think. Nice overhead. This is it? This is Just the have to block now. Yeah, and poke close. Ooh, better. Good. He didn't, poke. didn't flinch and blocks the pants. Alright. Kyoshiro has still some meditation. Yoki. Gets hit by the overhead. And Kazuki backing up and forcing Kyoshiro to come to him. Mm, yeah. But they're doing they're doing so little damage to each other that it's it's important not to take too much chip from fireballs. Okay, there you go. 
now Kazuki has a much better lead, and he can he can do all the blocking he wants. Ooh, now Chip feel, will not fix the lead. I feel I feel like you're sure of frustration right now. Yeah, he's just hitting A B, trying uh -huh. to catch Kazuki. Nice overhead. But, but in vain because ooh, he's blocking obviously. Oh, he's tying it up. Tying it up, yeah. Alright, Kazuki in the lead again. Alright, what are we gonna see here? Are we gonna see a he's time also to Eisen. Go to Aizen, Aizen, Aizen. You have to rage explode. Ah, uh, he uses all the Aizen. The Meet timer keeps moving in, uh, in time slow though, so... Yeah, but you can use it faster. I mean, when you have access to it, just use it sometimes. Because the time is already ticking, you know? And you force your opponent to rage. Well, it's the situation anyway. So, big Gucci D1. Yeah, big Gucci D takes that. And the most... <laughs> the most patient match we've seen today. Mm-hmm. Good plays from both characters, both players. They were not only mashing buttons, they were thinking of it, they were reacting and everything. No run, seek Yoshiro. It's kind of a short range. Oh yeah, actually we could have, we could have saw some uh, dash B from Kyoshiro. But oh yeah, still... uh, all, the, all the dash B mix-ups. Yeah, but still it's not a great button because you can be blocked and punished on it. But still you can do it like eh, too close in. To... Usually when I try Hopefully. to do dash B, I try to uh, use use the cancel window. So I'll do dash B, but I'll cancel it into parry. Or you'll do dash B, but you'll cancel it into frog. Yeah. Uh, when, when people run at Kazuki, he likes to stick out like uh, 5C. He likes to stick out 2B a lot. 5B. I think, I think that's a good practice because you can still get some frames out of the dash B, right? Yeah. And your opponent can start blocking high and you're gonna go for a frog or something. Looks like Yonfei versus Charlotte. Uh, I think this is Charlotte is favored here because of uh, the triangle, because of the TP, because of just 5AB as an anti air. There it is. But we will see if Yunfei can bait these things out with uh, flying tricks. And yeah, you're kind, of, you're kind of you're kind of right. I don't I don't have a, a vast experience in playing versus Yunfei, so I don't know what to expect too much of him. I know he jumps like crazy. I know he uses lots of mix-ups. I know he likes to use his down B button most of the time. I think. Basically, Charlotte can get really close to Yunfei and just start hitting, like, jump A. Just all the time to keep Yunfei out of the air. Mm. But we know that JD Jank likes to use uh, DP a lot, which is... It's more dangerous. Yeah. Nice. Ooh, he didn't block He didn't block that. Yeah, maybe he was trying to run under, but you can't run under yeah. Charlotte because it goes... It hits on both sides. <laughs> mm. And she has a... Short jump. Yes. Nice! 5 AB anti air. Yep, there was a jump A. Yeah. Or maybe it was jump B. They look the same. Uh, but uh, Yunfei has a nice anti air. Down AB. Mm -hmm. So I think you should think twice when you jump versus him. Kind of masters, nice yeah. punish on the AB. Yeah. Uh, Yunfei can die to chip now. Or he'll just <laughs> try to do <laughs> kicks really close and get hit by jumping AB. That looks so easy for Sharot. Yeah, Charlotte only... Charlotte has to play in a very simple way to do well in this matchup, where Yunfei has to work pretty hard to move around all of Charlotte's anti-air options. Nice parry. But you're going to have to parry in more places than the start of the round. Like right now. Oh, see, if you parried now, it would have been great. Yeah. Sometimes I'm really unlucky when I do deflects. My opponent comes in and <laughs> grabs me. <laughs> but it's all the mind games. This game is all about mind games and reading your opponent. And run up throw. Maybe he was doing a parry there. And <laughs> 
Yeah, somebody in the chat wants to see a fatali fatality. I guess we deserve a fatality, isn't it, in anime ever? Fatalities are exciting, but they usually happen because somebody messed up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's not that great as a move. It's, it's like being hit by a dragon punch. Oh, no pursuit. And just... Nice Look, yeah, trade. Yeah, down AB. At this point, you want to trade as Yunfei. Because you have the bigger life lead. I think a lot of the time, people don't play Yunfei a lot. Stop hitting start, JDJ. Yeah, uh, yeah. This, but this... Yunfei is like Suija in that you should probably just 2 AB whenever you want. Because it puts you in the air, so you can use your other air specials. Exactly. Yeah, and usually right. if it trades, it's in your favor. And you can get out of it by cancelling the recovery animation into... Yeah. Yeah, something. So, I... I would have liked to see Yunfei using more of his eyes and nice. his right yeah, he now. He should he's... meditate more, but no. Well, yeah. he can't now. But if, if Charlotte jumps, he's got a really good anti air. Mm, with a big Genki coach. And Yunfei will keep this rage well into the next round. His rage lasts for a whole 60 seconds. For, forever, yeah, yeah. I think it has the most. Nice 5 AB anti air. Yep, he has the highest. Yeah, yeah. For the longest duration. The duration, duration, duration. Ooh, nice cancel. All right. But you, now, you cannot jump anymore. No more jumping. All right. Now, we can see a damage of, of grab. What? And this is it? I'm disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> Just no, no DP that time? But it's 1-1. One, one. We still can see it. And their ping is good, 32, wow. Yeah, they live a similar area. Ooh. Big AB from Yunfei. Yeah, at this point I even don't know what to comment any anymore. Because I'm really looking into the, the game. Yeah, they're playing intense. Nice cross up. Yeah, I really think what we need to start seeing now is Charlotte has to do more jump A, like immediately. Just like that. Because if Yunfei is moving forward, he'll get hit by that button. And it. Yunfei is always trying to jump, so the damage really adds up. Yeah, Just like yeah. that. Yeah, it's a good priority. It has a good range. Other than other characters, comparing to other characters. So now Charlotte has a life lead, you just want to jump A. Oh, yeah. Doesn't the block the overhead, lead. but you still have the life lead. And, yep. Usually at this point, you want to go in for a, uh, for, from a grab because every, everyone is blocking. Nice. Or just time, time your grab to use it at the end. Is he listening to me? <laughs> Don't, oh, don't listen to Too PNG. slow with the jump, eh? <laughs> Tries to go for a grab there, but gets the hop. Oh, stuffs out the 2AB from Yunfei. Uh, I think so, yeah. yeah. It was faster than his startup animation. Ooh, this is kinda... Kind of hard yeah, to get, so Vatohim really not going for any grabs, but Yunfei has a really good grab game because you can um, tiger knee fly, you can fly super low to the ground and land in front of them, because usually they're gonna try to block the AB, because that's how Yunfei gets uh, a lot of his damage in. But you you do low fly, you land, and then you just grab rage, expl rage explosion. You could have oh. seen an AB hit. Nice again. hop, <laughs> Yunfei. Mm, I would like to see. Uh oh. <laughs> No, 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 you give up the <laughs> Yeah, explosion. yeah, it, it, hap it happened, it happened sometimes. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I, I can I can hit it, and when you see it, yeah, <laughs> you end up your rage explosion. And that was, that was something. It's it's like in time slow, when uh, the other guy tries to fatality, and then you try to punish the the bounce with Isen, but using Isen <laughs> ends the time slow, so they just hit the yeah, ground, yeah. and then you, you lose. <laughs> Yeah, this is small gimmicks that you need to have in mind before using them. Or be yeah, having the experience of playing them over and over again. 
and falling for them and eventually you will not do them anymore waiting for your opponent to mess up so we can get in the slash yeah everybody everybody is uh, successful to that i've done that lots of times myself also and i bet png here done also oh yeah and we might still do it <laughs> when we're like uh, intense in the gameplay I was reading the chat while we were waiting. All right, let's pull up the brackets. Let's, oh, I already have it open. It was about time to see some event in some show. Because since Magistrate uh, left, since there wasn't Magistrate's no... Magistrate's back in Malaysia. Yeah, there wasn't any any event. And he was keeping the community up. So let's see, what are we, who are we waiting for? Wait for Moo Master? Unfortunately, they came out of the blue, so I don't really know the brackets. But I'm looking forward to see. Okay. All right, thanks. Lots of players joined in. All right, let's see. Yeah, we're back to 2010. <laughs> the game was. Oh, wow, this guy has the scan lines on. Yeah, I think if I would have streamed, everybody would have said, hey, Oh, so why are you using the stretch uh, stream? I play the stretch stream. So, so unfamiliar. Mina versus Rara. Rara has uh, excellent jumping AB buttons and the fastest dash speed. So, Mina can't really do anything in the air because she will get hit. <laughs> By that AB. It's... And the pressure the pressure is there. Alright, nice arrow. Gets her off the dog. And it's about tied up. Mina actually has very, very high damage. A lot of people forget that. She's been hit by four arrows and she's dead. Uh, you yeah. know, people people are really impatient that I don't even realize that they're dying. <laughs> what is uh, HP pull off Rayra defense? I think it's uh, a 90 something. Is it? Uh... I'll look it up. I don't think she has full anyway. Yeah, she does. She definitely doesn't. Yeah, because she's a small character. She takes a hundred and fifteen percent. Okay. So she's like eighty-five. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't mind. Ooh, we could have seen an AB, but we've seen a troll. This is fast pace. Yeah, Rare is just trying to stay on top of Mina as best as possible. There's that AB. Whoa. There's another AB. Because the AB hits far above her and it hits far below her. Yeah. And it's, and it's super fast. And she gets hit by the super. Ooh. Uh oh. You and better, she better block this. Yeah, yeah. And. Yeah, pick Ooh. it up. Oh, no punish. <laughs> Wait, why rage explode? He could have jumped. All right. Well, Rare is going to jump into an arrow. That was so unfortunate because Rera jumped into an AB, but the range was better for Mina. Yeah, there's a lot of things that Rera should win, but you know. <laughs> it's kind of strange because you're... Oh, they're using lots of... lots of... Whoa. You know, in time slow there, <laughs> Rera can just air throw her. They used, they she didn't used have six, to get her weapon. Six, six bars of latency, oh my god. This is like pressing button and in three seconds you get the input. There's no more reaction, Samsung. 
I wanted to say that it's kind of strange because you're used to one of uh, one particular playstyle. When it comes to unique characters like Rare Eyes, uh, you need to adapt. You need to use different kind of uh, like the jump B ah, would, wouldn't here. work that great against her because her jumping is different. Like. Oh, she can go for chip here. Yeah. Ooh, nice overhead yeah, to avoid the throw. Yeah, the BC is great for avoiding throws most of the time. Punish? Oh, no punish. You can grab Rara right off the wolf right there. I find Rara very, very annoying. Yeah, especially in lag. Both Rara and Mina very annoying in lag. And a single hit from Rara. And that's 70% life. Can be. Ooh. Punish? Oh, no punish. Punish. No punish. Come on now. Okay, air to air. <laughs> it's hard to keep uh, Rera out. Because she moves really fast. And just Rera he jumping hits. around too much hits... <laughs> Yeah. Mina hits her out of the air. Nice overhead. But Mina still has to be very careful. She can still lose a bunch of life in one hit. Okay, well, it's been three <laughs> hits and we've lost the advantage. So now yeah. we, we time slow right here. You be you barely said it and it happened. Uh, no, no, I didn't set up nothing. Just regular slash. Yeah, it's a very, very dangerous game being played by the, by the Mina there. You know, usually when someone has time slow, you never want to jump into the air. Because, you know, you can't block in the air. <laughs> yeah, when somebody has slow, time slow, let's see. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I think time slow is the best uh, ability that you can use in this game, in my opinion. Yeah, usually you always want time slow. It, it, it all comes down to time slow in the end, from my point of view. Because even if you have uh, lower HP and the opponent has bigger HP, you can still use some and get lots of damage in. All, all the can, best characters be... in this game are very strong in time slow. Yeah, yeah. There are very few that don't use time slow, like Anja yeah. maybe. Yeah, Anja, or... Rasetsumaru usually doesn't. Yeah, I, I play, I play uh, Rasetsumaru with Aizen also. Somebody asked me, why do you play? Yeah, because I'm used to, and I like Aizen. Mm. But even Angel, Angel, because his BC doesn't knock you off. Can still use it. But he cannot go for a big setup. Like Yunfei can or uh, Ukyo. Yeah, it's. The emotions are so big when playing tournaments. Let's see, I think we're waiting on uh, JD Jank to hop into this lobby. What I wanted to say is I see like uh, some some people who are kind kind new into the game or don't know the game too much, they tend to use special ability too much. Uh, two, what is it? Uh, two, three, six? Yeah. CD. And you usually get punished for it. If, as a strong player, you usually uh, prioritize blocking over other. JD Jank on Genjiro. Alright, Kyoshiro vs Genjiro. This is good matchup for Genjiro. Maybe. Oh, yeah. Again, because of the command grab. I would place a character with command grab better on the tier list, higher on the tier list. Rather than one without it. Oh, he tries, but he hops. <laughs> yeah. The thing is, if Genjiro wants to use a card setup, he can get a AB into his mouth. <laughs> or a B. Both. Nice overhead kick into Rekka. Yeah, he has to be careful with cards because of stuff like uh, Frog and B and AB. 
It's to use the A B version out of the bigger range. And if if the card bounces, uh, he can also do a backdash spin. Yeah. I don't know if we'll see that, but yeah. Nice throw. Genjiro has Genjiro. advantage. Yep, I think this is all going to Genjiro. And Sugar Bear decides to just meditate a little bit before the end of the round. Cross up Rekka from. <laughs> Who is this guy? This player is a degenerate. So he hits the B but doesn't confirm into Rekka. Gets a throw. Nice pursuit. Overhead from Sugar Bear. And there's the wave. So one of the things Kyoshiro can do to. Wow, nice AB. To uh, maybe hit the wave more often is a lot of his moves have uh, a cancel window. So you can show your opponent something, and then when they move to react, you're actually throwing the fireball. Nice yeah, the same, yeah, the same case with Genjiro. You... <laughs> okay, yeah, you have to rage explode that. Yeah. Like, uh, Kyoshiro can do 2AB, but he can cancel that into fireball. So there's there's a strange delay. Catches the hop. It would have been it would have been uh, dead by the chip damage anyway. Yeah, chip. It, it was a good ball. But Kyoshiro doesn't have any anything for the end of the round. Yeah, now Kyoshiro is just gonna have to play really well. But Kyoshiro has pretty good defense in uh, time slow because nice. of uh, backdash spin. Be into the car. So JD Jank understands that he can't just go for card setups all the time against a character like Kyoshiro. Nice roll, command, command grab. Command grab. You usually want to place a, a card when you want to wake up at Genjiro. Yeah. The combo. Oh, nice whiff punish. It should have been uh, DP, DP there, Dragon Punch. Like, no, also. Oh, oh, he doesn't block the last hit. He doesn't block the last hit. Ooh, nice nice hop. hop. Yeah, into grab. And you could have follow up. Yeah, Chobi Jishi will but, not go through card. But he has the advantage. AB. So, so. He's satisfied. Wow, I've, I've never seen JD Jank play Genjira. But it works out really well. Yeah, it was good. Thirty-four MS playing on two bars of latency. Well, this is everyone can has have their side, their options. For some reason, I thought JD Jank already won too. I don't know why that one. <laughs> Kyoshiro running away. <laughs> Keep running. <laughs> yeah, with his low speed, I'm running. I'm running. Oh, wake nice. up command grab. Nice. What can I see here? There's the card on wake up. Oh, it doesn't confirm. If that card hits, I think that was the A card, so you have a lot of time. It actually, actually, I think I said the mistake earlier because Kyoshiro can do a frog on wake up mm -hmm. when Kenjiro can use a card, yeah. But uh, so... if you hit him early enough, uh, the frog will not, the yeah, frog will not activate. Out. It'll it'll come out, but it won't throw him into the wall. Ah, okay. Also, we, we could see some BC from Genjiro, but he already has the lead. Yeah, Genjiro really can just back up. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you forget that you have the lead until you uh, hear the hear the 10 second bell start going. and you... It's already been a minute. He went for the damage here, but he would have go, go for the time slow. Uh, sorry, the, the time, because right now he had some blue bar for Kyoshiro. Yeah, when you he hit people just... at the end, you're yeah. just giving him more yeah, uh, small sense. small things that really uh, 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 matter like that that's why we prioritize a buttons or c buttons before the a b backdash into frog <laughs> well he Genjiro still have a round life lead so but i would use more of bc as Genjiro here i think still can be countered well he goes for a different overhead there with the kick Nice whiff punish. Interesting. Nice. Now, Sugar Bear really doesn't use 442S a lot, but 
when he does, it works out pretty well. Yeah, you want if you want to favor the corner sometimes with Kyoshi, also versus Genjiro because he can use the mix up, the crossover Rekka. Oh, catches him out yeah. of the air with it, so he gets punished. All right, punish. Kyoshi oh, looking small punish stronger okay. at the at the moment. Genjiro's coming in. He's working little by little, and we see a setup here. Yeah. Right. Yep, just like what we were talking about, is you cannot mm -hmm. just do cards and think that they're going to sit there. A lot yeah. of card setups are unblockable, so if your opponent knows what's going on, they, they won't try to block it. They'll try to hit you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can block, wait for your opponent to press AB, and then you hit it again. Hope tries to go for the, the hit grab there. Okay, let's now see. this is an unblockable. Ooh. Oh, very smart. Yeah. Very smart. Yeah, that was really smart. And this is the end of Genjiro. Unfortunately. Ooh, yeah, against that, that card setup, it's if you get hit by the card, you get put into a hard knockdown state, so you can't be comboed. So if Genjiro's doing that to you in time slow, you just you eat the hit and then you're safe. <laughs> you just press the D button, hop. Big brain Kyoshiro. Okay. So we have 1-1. One, one. Both opponents show their skill. Now it's time to adapt and win the rounds. Kyoshiro sprinting towards Genjiro and gets thrown. JD Jank trying to use more card now. Ooh. Nice. That's that's exactly what you said. You waited for him to press the button, and then he punished. Yeah. And right now he became a little bit passive because he saw the life lead. But still, you need to be. Oh no! You need to be really vigilant. Oh, miss times it. To block. Yeah. Ooh, this is not good. And no. Kyoshi was able to tie it up. Oh, Genjiro missed time. <laughs> oh, he, had the, he had the round. What? Exactly what I said. Be vigilant. Don't, don't think you won it because you have the life lead. You, you're no. not dead un until your HP is not dead. Work for it. <laughs> ah. Sugar Bear finding out <laughs> that this JD Jank guy, he's, he's nice dock and punish. That JD Jank is frustrated AV Rekka immediately. Even the chat is silenced. They're watching intensely the game. Genjiro is asking, how can I close in? How can I how can I do something? I just smashing AB, but this he blocks. He keeps Come blocking my AV. Maybe he's Come trying to grab. do the uh, the cancel. Oh, he tried command grab. Oh. And he but... does it again, but it works this time. Yeah, yeah. And you can do it again. Oh, Let's no DP go. from Genjiro. <laughs> Cause time is ticking. Ooh, Run up throw. Good. Uh, and... He can die to all kinds of shit. <laughs> oh no. Damn it. So Genjiro can actually jump over that and AB. His jumping AB hits much lower than it looks like it does. So you can. Mm -hmm. I'm afraid to jump over, over the fire breath. I'm afraid to jump yeah, it, over. It looks like you'll get hit, but you don't. Mm. But that was a very good match. So after all, I saw some fire breath of Kyoshiro. A mix up of the A B and A B. Genjiro, a basketball player. <laughs> yeah, this is what's good. Yeah, Genjiro is from that basketball game. <laughs> Him and Homaru. Yeah, that's why they're rivals. We haven't seen Gao. I yeah. remember we when in last uh, some show tournaments there was plenty of Gao. Yeah, a lot of the uh, the European tournaments, every everyone plays Gao for some reason. <laughs> uh, Caballo, Slam Town. There's probably someone I'm forgetting. Oh, Genjiro is freestyle too. <laughs>
right now we're figuring out whether or not uh, we're going to have a match streamed. It looks like both players might not be able to screen share without uh, extreme slideshow, but we, we will see. Yeah, better one frame per second than no frames per second. Genji, the best char character in the game. Mm, the uh, tier list, no, the I, the he's tier close. List, yeah, he's close. Yeah, I would I would put it kind of up on the tier list. I, I'm sure uh, neither me and neither PNG doesn't like the the tier list too much. But some some characters are better than others in a sense. Yeah, G Gedo is really really good because he can do the command command throw, and also uh, Gaira is good. Like the most options you have. The better character is uh, the better is your character. Like Haomaru doesn't have a command grab. If Haomaru would have had a command grab, he would have been a little better. If uh, I think Tora's uh, Yuga was a command grab, he would probably be too strong. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. If uh, Gao, if his if his grab was a command grab, he would be a lot better. Yeah, but but. Uh, this is just me. I, I like I like command grabs. I think they're strong, but uh, when you play offline, you can react to them. But online, you have a little delay. Oh my god. Next slide, please. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> uh, Yoshitora has a ton of different tools to beat Mina. I'm just going to talk about the matchup because I can't really see what's going on. But yeah. Yoshitora can do all manner of things to move through arrows, to hit Mina out of the air with his DP, with his, you know, jumping A, B, with his jump neutral B as an air-to-air. -air. There's not a lot Mina can do to stop Yoshitora from running straight at her. You you say this as a Yoshitora player, but myself, I don't find so much options for Yoshitora since his jumping A, B isn't that great. And I was use uh, jump A, B against me now like most of the time to punish her and also close b for example like uh zankro has or genchuro has but oh this was fast. It, it looks like there's been a lot of subaki going on <laughs> it looks like something was going on here yeah. it went to 2004 yeah totally at least the sound is okay It was fast because we only had 50 frames <laughs> the whole game. Nah, I'm joking, still good. Alright, yep, we're probably gonna see Mina Yoshitora again. Let's see some Subaki. See raw Subaki. Oh, there it is. <laughs> yeah, Tsubaki is like a double edged blade because you can be blocked out of it or you can read and just hit for big damage. Yeah, but I think a lot of the time Mina players aren't really waiting, they're always, they're always trying to stop yep. you by hitting a button. So, mush button and Mina can do okay in close close range. She can use her down C, she can use her B C sometimes. Oh, looks like she Subaki wins a... again. <laughs> An A. Ooh. I think it was a special there somewhere. Yeah, I think I heard a super. <laughs> <laughs> the sound is with us. Alright. Seems like Mina getting hit by the sound of it. Oh, Subaki, did it land? Subaki. Nope, think it missed. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, that's Bucky again. And Samina setups. Another thing oh, Yoshitora can do Bucky. is he can he can jump into the air and have a bow 10 buffered. Because, oh, oh yeah, Mina yeah. took it with a pursuit. Yeah. But but you're gonna have a recovery flame frame when you land. That's the downside of it. But if you're going for the lead, that's very good. Yeah, if you can if you can predict her and send her straight back into the ground with Botan, it's, it's very good for Yoshitora. Okay. 
Yeah, the uh, the Steam version actually runs at two frames per second. So it's like a chess match, really. You know, when is it after all? Hippon? Something happened? Oh, wow, Mina really <laughs> ran away with it. <laughs> Something changed. Yeah, I hope the players don't play in this frame. <laughs> right? This is what it looks like for Topo Maligno. This is why he's losing. <laughs> he can't, he can't. Yeah, I think the stream kind of screws your uh, your performance if you have a low spec. Oh, that was an empty Subaki into throw. That's that's the other thing Yoshitori can do. You don't always have to actually use the slash. Yeah, you go in for the bait. Or just go in for the forward movement. Oh, it looks like Moon Master hit the uh, the big anti-air arrow, but missed the pursuit. Nice grab. Let's see a setup. Slide pursuit. Wow. I think uh, Yoshitora has a uh, dash AB is very good. Yes, it is. I think it's very mm -hmm. underused. Oh, you just used it there. I saw it. I saw the slide. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It was a frame there, huh? And the B, I think it happened. <laughs> happened. That's super. Nope, Subaki hits, sounds like. Yeah. DP oh, hits. DP. Mina's in chip range. Is she? What is oh, she? <laughs> going She's on? a super. And a grab. Alright. I think I started to figure out. Oh, wow. Happens. Mina's hanging on by the Ooh. skin of her teeth and gets hit by a Subaki. Yeah. Oh, you can see her underwear. <laughs> okay. The thing is, with Subaki, he can be hit uh, low. Yeah, at the very end of it, that's what's been happening, it, it looks like. Mm -hmm. I mean, just figuring out the timing and hitting some nice anti-airs. Oh, oh, Rage Explosive to avoid exploded. the super. Yeah. Mina needs like one hit. Here's the arrow. And. Not. Okay. This was good, I think. Oh, this is very, very close. close. Yeah. <gasps> oh, oh, no. no. <laughs> yeah, uh, a Saga. That was probably supposed to be a Subaki. Yeah, this is the smashing keyboard. The smashing controller should supposed to happen. Wow. What, what an amazing it? match. I'm glad we could see that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad. Sesión encontrada. Sí, por supuesto. What I think as as a good player, you should try to control your emotions. Kind of. Because I remember when I played back in the day, I was like getting really, really, really angry and I got tunnel vision and I wouldn't control. So I remember PNG said at one time that breathing is a good tech inside. And I totally agree. Yeah, there's, a, there's a lot of things you can do outside of the game to improve your gameplay. To improve your game correctly, yeah. Try blocking in real life. You know, when you practice it on the street. Hmm. Yeah, or avoid the anger. <laughs> meditate. Exactly, yeah. It's a good game. Well, you have time to meditate in those uh, in between rounds or in the start of the game. Just close your eyes, relax. Mm, I'm not my anger. <laughs> And right, I say this be beca because it actually helps, and I bet the samurai did the same. I bet the samurai did the same. Uh, yes, the stream does look okay. You can't hear me. Uh... <laughs> All right, we're gonna have Kazuki versus either Zankuro or Ghetto. Probably Zankuro. That's that's my bet. Just so good. 
have frame rate back up again. Usually the way all rounds start out for Zonkuro is you, you, you back up a little bit and you just start throwing fireballs. And if that's not what you do, then you just swing AV as hard as you can. <laughs> Punish, yes. Mikuchi has a nice uh, escapes and everything, but he lacks punishes at the moment. I really like his uh, neutral C to avoid grabs. Alright, you can go for grab here. Run a grab. Lojak just wailing on the AB in the foot. Just chip with fireball, swing AB. Chip with fireball, swing AB. And then chip with shoulder. Yeah, because he kind of lost it. He doesn't know what to do, but he's good. He should. Alright. Jump, come on. Jump, jump. Away. Like, the first thing Kazuki wants to do is, is stand a little closer to Zakura. You, you don't want to be at the range where he can just fireball like that, or where but he can he recoil cancel into fireball. Oh, uh, yeah. You want to be close enough to where, you know, if he recoils, you, you can overhead. Like, right here is too far. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it was. Kazuki is a close range character, while Zankuro can be mid, close and uh, long range sometimes. Nice pants? Yeah, I don't favor the pants because you can be punished. Yeah, pants are dangerous, but you know, the, uh, if, if you flinch, it's good again. Nice okay, overhead. Okay. He had it, he lost it, he had it again. We can see one more round. Big Gucci D being very patient as if he's playing Kyoshiro, you know, using the timer. Right, he seems like he recovered. Uh oh. Pants again. Not versus Zankuro. That's a big AV. Zankuro will reach you. Nice. Oh, nice 2 AV. I, I feel like Big Gucci D really knows how to avoid the, the grabs. Yeah, both Low Drag and Big Gucci D are very good Ooh. at uh, avoiding grabs. And also grabbing. I know that uh, in a lot of tournaments I've seen people try to grab. Lojack again and again and again as he jabs and he hops and he knows mm -hmm. how not to be thrown. Alright. Zanko is baiting him to come in closer, but he doesn't have any option. Yep, trying to jab him out of time slow. Ooh. Yep, nice. that's the instant overhead, but he still has so much. Oh. oh Fatality. No. Oh, you can punish that. No. That's too close. And, okay, and this is it. Ah. Yes. Yep. Nice. Just, just backing up. Just backing up. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Whew. I kind of lived lived this moment. I bet they're having intense moments. So is good. this three out of five? Winners final. Winners final. Yeah. All right. Alright, show the best guys. It's the finals. Yeah, Zankuro just wants to get close. So he can hit that AB. No heavy pursuit from Kazuki. It is a small window. Nice. So what we're seeing a lot from Big Gucci D is he'll do um is he'll do that that hop with the knee. 5C, and then he'll he'll cancel it into a special immediately. He does it yeah, into fireball. We saw him do it into pants, and he did it into uh, the it's, the up it's grab. One of one of the best uh, buttons for Kazuki sometimes. Yes. Because you can combo out of it. Uh, it has a good priority, and it also escapes uh, grabs when the your opponent has the grab animation. Like you can see him being grab grabbed, but in the end you just use the C and you also get out of the grab. Same for Sogetsu, but Sogetsu cannot uh, use a combo out of it, like neither Suija, I think uh, Enja can cancel I think it. Enja can. Yeah. Yeah, there's not so many run options up here. You can only run up grab, yeah. But you can be punished sometimes. You see, you want to come and grab, you there's just poke A, yeah, jab, 
Okay, and then he went for the, the, the grab. We talked so much about command grab, I feel like uh, saying command grab, but it's actually normal grab. All the way over there, <laughs> grab maybe. Yeah. Nice overhead. Even though he has the life lead. Oh, he tries to go for uh, one of the low kit 3C, but nice duck. Mm, like... Alright, Big Gucci D is going to have to do something very cool. <laughs> oh, it's too far for that to anti-air properly. Yeah, you need to recognize sometimes that your opponent tricks you in following him. So, you are like uh, not favorable. You should make your opponent to come for you instead sometimes. But when you have a, a lower life lead, that's complicated. Because I, I feel like Zankuro is playing somehow really defensive and Kazuki is impatient to, to come in. Because Kazuki, Zankuro gets so much more damage that he can, he can sit back. And even if the time gets low, he can still uh, take it back. But Kazuki, he's, he's usually on the back foot. He and always has to run over and get his damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he's a faster character. And he likes to move around very, very He could have grabbed, but he decided not to. Yeah, Lodrak is playing really defensive. Very good. It's almost almost every time Lodrak decides to run up and throw it works. <laughs> Mm. Uh, the bracket show it's 1 1, but I think it's. No, it's. Hmm? Is it 1 1? Yeah, it's 1 1. Okay. Uh, big Gucci G played the timer. The first... Oh, it's gonna hurt. No, pants. Now it is a 2 1. <laughs> Sorry, pants. One one, yeah, it doesn't matter. Right, big Gucci D is probably gonna have to play a lot faster, uh, start avoiding throws, probably, and then never go for pants again. <laughs> I think I think those last two things are important. You have to avoid throws and you have to not go for pants. Oh, we should have seen a better punish there. Nice. That was good. So you see, right now, Kazuki has the life lead. And he's using it. Okay, I, I felt like he's charging in for. But Lodrak is using the, the chip, chip damage. This is really, really good tech, you know? You, can, you cannot penetrate to your opponent. So you just go in chip. And you use, if you use so many uh, projectiles, whatever, you're gonna slowly, slowly come into your opponent. You see? Actually, he hit it. And he has life lead now. That's really amazing. And come on, uh, grab. Yep, run up, grab. This is it. <sighs> oh! Uh -huh. Max range. It was nice out of low direction. Like, very few people use the cheap damage just for the cheap damage, you know? Because yeah. that that's little amount really matters. Like yeah. We can see that even when uh, Lodrak doesn't have the life lead, he's still playing. Well, he has it now. But last round, when he didn't have the life lead, he didn't get impatient. He didn't start running. Yeah. He's just sticking to the game plan. Nice tick throw from Kazuki. Charge the fireball. Okay. Yeah, Zankuro is more of a defensive character, though. But, though, he should have gone for a combo. Oh, catches him flinching. Run up, stop, AB. Just play fast versus Turtle Zankura. Mm. You cannot all the time because if you just go care careless, you're gonna eat a AB or a punch or whatever. So, Lodrak is gonna move into Grand Finals.
I would have liked to, to see more dash A into grab, maybe from Kazuki. Yeah, Kazuki's uh, tick throw is very strong because dash A is uh, it's zero on block. It's very good. I think also Yoshitora uh, can use it also, but it's... Yeah, Yoshitora part... can do that too. Yeah, I think the recovery frame on uh, Kazuki is way better. And you can also uh, mix it up with the C sometimes. Yeah, because if you're always going for the dash A into throw, uh, your opponent can read you and eventually he will try to use different uh, slash or whatever. And so you just are we mix going it up. To watch Kyoshiro versus Mina. Uh, <laughs> this is going to be very painful <laughs> for everyone, everyone involved. Uh, I know that Sugar Bear does have a, a Jubei, but I don't think you'd pick him in tournament. It's going to be a very slow match. Mina can run away pretty much for free, unless Kyoshiro gets a big brain read. Mm, yeah, so this should be like a hard matchup for Kyoshiro. Yeah, I think it's a very hard matchup for Kyoshiro. Mm, yeah, kind of. It doesn't have very very much options. Wow, all kinds of people are winning the giveaway. Look at that. Alright, nice overhead. Yep, run up throw from Mina. It's good. Because you don't expect it. So, basically, the way I play this matchup is I, I try to get it at one hit, a single hit on Kyoshiro, and then I just I block all the arrows because Mina's arrows don't really chip. Her arrows that chip are very. AB? <sighs> <laughs> the kick was fun. Oh no, the kick. It leaps into a huge arrow. So, like right now, Kyoshiro should start blocking. Oh, nope, you can't. <laughs> And now you have to run all the way across the screen. So you say, Mina. okay, so you'd say you just turtle me out. You wouldn't go in for her. Yeah. It's it's hard, but you can you can block all of Mina's stuff. Big AB. And he since oh let's all right big damage. I, okay, he opted for the jumping AB. Just oh option. no! Ah. Tries to go for a six six B and just. Gets hit by like that back dash down arrow or immediate jump back down arrow. Sugar Bear deciding to stick with the Kyoshiro. He's gonna have to play a lot more carefully. You have to see. But indeed, it's a hard matchup. Yep, you gotta walk and block. His neutral A, B can be very good against her when she recovers from the air. And he can use... Oh, the crossover. Oh, it's yeah, good. crossover air. BC wins. I favor BC as a... Alright, jumping two S, very large move, catches a whole lot of stuff. Oh, Sugar Bear is not blocking high. Ooh, chip? chip? Oh damage. no, you can't! Listen to the commentator. That's Mina's only chip move. <laughs> <laughs> a bit too slow on the punish from Sugar Bear. It's looking like... Sugar Bear is not familiar with the matchup and how often you actually have to block high, which is like kind of all the time. Especially against Amina like this who jumps a lot. Let's see a big punish. Oh, it's he it gets the near AB. The down down AB or normal AB would have. Yep, and then there's the the overhead mix from Mina. She does not have another arrow up there. <gasps> nice. Very nice, actually. And Aizen. Oh, no. I think he could have Aizen. Maybe, but I, I think... 
I think it yeah, would cause... wouldn't have, you have to be very fast with it because if she moves yeah. back too far from that fatality bounce, it uh it just won't hit. Unfortunate. So and this is good to try. gonna take that. Yeah, yeah I mean I mean it's really it's really annoying sometimes when you don't know how to play versus her. Once you find the game doesn't have very many brutal matchups like that, but they're there. I wouldn't even play that match. Yeah. Losers finals. Moo Master versus Big Gucci D. I believe we saw this. This is a run back. At least they play on a nice game. Can change. Let's see how much Mina has learned after Big Gucci D's uh, 2-0. Maybe there will be a little less jumping when in the corner. Right. You're seeing some nice, nice low ticks to avoid the throws. A little overhead there. Uh, like a Kazuki. backdash from Kazuki. It takes, takes it lightly. Mina gets the run up throw. Nice pursuit. Very good. Yeah, you have to be careful. Against Kazuki, it's going for a pursuit is very dangerous when he has that fireball charge. Uh, a lot of people aren't really familiar with that because they think Kazuki's gonna keep that fireball for extra damage. But you know, a lot of the time he's just gonna use it to stop yours. There's even some unblockables he can do with that fireball. Nice low. So this is where you have to be careful. If oh, oh, Big Gucci did doesn't do the jump A B, or it's the exact thing that you know kind of got him all of his damage last time these two players are against each other. see a punish on that yet yeah, pants is never really not against zankaro not against mina so oh so time slow makes a throw whiff and immediately goes for the e send takes the round you know, do what you gotta do take the round i wanted to say down a beat horizon but that would be no work though oh too far <laughs> for that punish it was a good idea yeah that a b tricks me even even now Short range. Yeah, so we're still seeing it a lot. That that five C into, you know, into special, and it's yeah. it's a really good move. But you know, if they block the five C, and it, you're probably not going to combo with the special. Yeah, but he has a, a fast recovery. I mean, he likes to cancel it into pants. This is even worse than just leaving the oh, C recovery straight into the air from Mina. If that was an A B, it... Kazuki might have even killed her. Anyway, we're up. Moo Master's up one. What a world we would live in if Amina won this tournament. What a world we would live in if Amina got the third place in this tournament. <laughs> now that I think about it. Pretty crazy. I remember I lost I lost Tomina in the finals also. Oh wow! But uh, I, I was a uh, kind of beginner and I thought 
the guy, if you're gonna win, if you're gonna go to the finals, please don't pick Mina. And he picked Mina, and I was oh, so raged. That was my my mistake. Dash A B Kazuki. Jump A B. Mina just Kazuki. going very small buttons at this point. She doesn't really need a lot. Going for the drill exactly. kick. Yeah. You don't, you don't want to use the big buttons. Oh, Chip? I. This is the second time. You can't when let me opponent... get away with that. Yeah, when the opponent has little HP, you don't want to use big buttons. Just go for the little ones. A, C. There Good. it is. And avoid the command. The... Grab the avoid. Nice pursuit. Just, just be ready uh, for jump. as soon as uh -oh. Mina gets in the air. Dash. Dash B, he doesn't know. Doesn't know the. Oh, yeah, tried. This... Yeah, he tried, but it was a bit. Nice Actually, block. you want to hit, you want to hit the A B little faster because until it comes out. Yes. Oh come on! I think Kazuki won the last uh, encounter, didn't he? Oh, nice. Very nice. Just, just yeah. one tap of chip, okay. and nice instant overhead. That's good. That button so, is instant overhead, it's super active. It, it just stays out there forever. A <laughs> toxic character. Mina, isn't it? There's the jump AB to counter Mina's jump. Oh, wow. Super high damage from me. <gasps> he doesn't block. <laughs> he doesn't... <laughs> oh no, oh no. <laughs> Not like this. I'm starting to shake with rage. <laughs> Alright, you can do it. I'm pretty sure Kazuki won the last encounter versus Mina. But right now, he isn't. Yeah, now it's... Don't, don't let it be a reverse sweep. There's the end here. All right, okay. nice. Nice hop. Oh, it's <laughs> facing the wrong way when he hits the uh, the A B input. So when you block an arrow from Mina, when she does like an air arrow and she touches the ground, she can block as soon as she touches the ground, but she can't move again. So a lot of people try to hit a button and it gets blocked. What you should do is you need to throw her. She can block, but she can't move. So you can run and throw. Yeah, yeah. I would I have stopped this? <laughs> it's really funny. I don't know. <laughs> maybe maybe I would throw games to watch this. <laughs> Ooh, right. Yeah. Head. So it's not it's not actually safe. The uh, the jumping arrow shot. One Kazuki, like, do it. Kazuki needs to run and grab. Every time that happens, he can run and grab. He's just yeah. trying to go for a, a button. I hope Kazuki doesn't. No, no, Terry. It's, it's, it's not us. safe. He's just punishing incorrectly. Damn. Moon Master showing. Really, really cleaning up. Me and a top three character. <laughs> Top three in tournament, top th the three best characters in the game are Zankaru, yeah. Kazuki, and Mina, <laughs> as shown yeah. by these tournaments. Yeah. Till, till it's 2020. This is it. <laughs> I'm gonna write it up. Make the tweet right now. <laughs> Mina tweet. is a bro broken character. Totally, yeah. No doubt about it. No, she's just different. The game is kind of balanced, nonetheless. Like Pet Shop in JoJo. All right. So it looks like uh, Lodrak might not be able to screen share right now. So I think we're going to try to have 
We're going to try to have Boom Master screen share? What are we going to see? I think he screen shared his low drag until now. Yeah, usually it's been low drag doing it. Uh, he says he's going to try. All right. All right. We need to see it. We need to see it. All right. So this is grand finals. This is for all the pizza. This is for that Does... prize pool of one hundred dollars and forty six cents. <laughs> well, it was like a, a a meme thing on uh, some show Discord where Lo Lodrak uh, was in the finals every time. But a good he, player. unfortunately, yeah, he, he plays very good. But unfortunately, he didn't want any. Maybe you're gonna see it otherwise. As a commentator, I, I'm going to be neutral. And I am. Hopefully. As a commentator, I want Mina to lose. <laughs> Mina has won enough. <laughs> yeah, I think the chat also wants Mina to lose. It's only right. Uh, but but actually, if Mina messes up, she can die in a single shot from Zonkuro. Alright, Grand Final, boys. If Zonkuro has Rage, he can hit AB one time, and no matter what Mina's doing, she will die. Uh, Zonkuro can also combo from Deep Hits into just about lethal damage. Oh, it is good. Lodrak muted, our, 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 muted us. But, you know, every time there's an AB recoil, Mina can just uh, up back arrow immediately. There's the AB. Yeah, that's the big button. Oh, oh no! He wanted you, to, but too to early. Uh, I think he should have thrown it earlier when she started to jump, but after all, it was also. Timing was bad. But oh, <gasps> what a deflect! <laughs> yeah, finally we did. Yeah, yeah. It's not a normal deflect, it's an A B deflect. Oh Lojak, come on. Alright, Lojak with the with the moon boots. No, he lost and it. he gets hit by an arrow. Oh no. Oh and I wanted to say to oh, the no. chat that, that that's why Mina is bad, because she can eat two A B and she's GG, but uh, if she deflects the A B <laughs> well, Moon Master showed us differently. All right. I wonder if we're gonna see Lojack actually forced to switch to Ghetto. Oh, nice. Uh oh, big damage. The yeah, Lojack now now man. using uh the jab instead. He's like, I don't want to get I don't want to get parried again. <laughs> Nice recoil, Good. cancel into the shoulder. All right, boom! No, no, no! You gotta, you gotta, either do it earlier or you have to grab. I feel uh, Zankuro is now very confident. Lodra says, "What with this Mina character, I'm going to kick Mina." Big and AB. What? One. one AB. Boom! Oh, he mashes his buttons. Second AB. Nice big anti-air arrow. Miss time for grab. Two. Super and the cheap damage. Ooh no! Super, the super nerd. Okay, okay. This is shoulder. Bad. The shoulder. Bad. <laughs> Brainless AB. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is how you need to play versus Mina. Just go for Brainless AB. One one. See you next year, I'm out. <laughs> and he was gone. <laughs> nice overhead from Mina. Now, this Mina's really not using any any low attacks or any low Perfect. arrows. So really you Go could just her. you could probably block high for most of all of this and turn out pretty okay. 
because this Mina loves to do like the jump back down arrow, the yeah. the overhead cross up arrow. Because uh, if you're in this Mina's face, she Jumping will not B. use the two B. That was good of nice Yeah. He avoided. Ooh. Small pursuit. Block. And AP. There it is. Boom. Boom. Nice. Blue Master avoiding the grabs. It's not that minus. <laughs> Can't swing AB on that. Oh. Nice AB. Another no. AB. Another <laughs> AB. <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> the special button AB. Wins versus Mina. Lojack kind of running away with it now. He's found the button. <laughs> yeah, he became more confident. I felt it. The second game. <laughs> Another episode where Mina dies. <laughs> <laughs> to AB, yeah. <laughs> Do you have second thoughts on Mina picking? No. Oh, Moon Master is uh, dedicated. <laughs> yeah, this this point you, you already have <laughs> already have the nice hop. experience in playing one character. Recoil so cancel nice. into shoulder. Nice oh yeah. Chain. Oh, big AB. I, I feel sorry nice for me every time she hits by the AB. I never feel oh. sorry. For me. <laughs> that that was so easy. Like, oh, here. he misses yeah, the fight. first hit of the shoulder and doesn't actually fight. chip out, but Mina's too slow to punish. He read through her. Nice. Oh my god, he's just smashing AB. But why not mash AB if she keeps getting hit? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay. Find the weak spot. And use. Is it. Lojack gonna try to style? Is he gonna try to chip with super, or is he gonna, is he gonna play normally? He can just super. He can just super right now, for free. Yeah, but there it is. Oh. <laughs> okay. No fatality for us. This is not worth watching without the wisdom of Emu Fun. <laughs> <laughs> Well, GG. Lojack takes it. Lojack All the takes pizza it. is his. All the lost tournaments. of the pizza. All the lost tournaments that he was in. Finally, he finally has yeah his uh, his reward. Is it, is it time for the interview with Lojack, or is he gonna leave the chair? <laughs> Lojack's in a Zoom call. How's he gonna How's he gonna do I a meeting? Someone else in in the house is in a Zoom call. Oh, said. okay, maybe, yeah. maybe. I mean, we can bring him in here and interview him if you want. That would be interesting. That's what at Lodrak, <laughs> the champion yeah. interview. Yo, you want, to, you want to do an interview, champion? How was Me it champion. fighting Mina? <laughs> <laughs> How do you AB. feel about the AB button? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good job to everybody that played. Um, Moo Master, I love you, but god damn, I hate that character. Ugh. That was bad. <laughs> Will Lojack on death? And can Lojack even talk in this channel, or is he like I can, muted? Dude? I can unmute. Uh, he's uh. he can try. All right. <laughs> uh, so Lo Lojack's got himself muted and deafened, so can't hear us. Um, we can do the interview for them. Right. I haven't used my mic in a long time. Oh, okay. All right. Lodrak has actually never uttered a single word when Whoa. playing Sam's show and does so completely silently. Oh, okay. Well, this right. is good. We're going to have a root yeah. hop in. Oh, yeah. I was going to say a root jump in here. Hello? Hi. Hey. So, uh, thanks, everybody, for waking up at the fucking ass crack of dawn. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Uh, I really appreciate everybody that came through and played. Um, it was, you know, nice to see everybody playing. And 
I hope to do this again next year. Next year, it'll be a bit better organized. I'll have, I might have more people, more tournaments uh, for different regions, split it up that way. We'll see. Hopefully, Fight K2 will be all like perfect by then, so we can just use that, and it would be, or, or they could add lobbies to this game. <laughs> more. Uh, which I, they are actually working on it. I actually had them reach out. Oh, wow. Yeah, they had, they reached out to me and they were like, hey, you know, I, I saw you guys are running, you know, this game in Anime Evo and you're using our shit. So we're going to try to update it. Unfortunately, they couldn't um, push something out. The, the Codemasters? Yeah, Codemasters. Yeah, Codemasters. Yeah. Oh, okay. Great. So they, they are aware, you know, they, they're aware of what we need and they are That's working on it. Yeah. Our, our cries have been answered. <laughs> well, not yet, but they, they know. Honestly, if the lobbies are like twenty dollar DLC, I, I still might do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, don't say that too loud. They might fucking. Yeah, <laughs> they're listening. <laughs> yeah, I'll pay yeah, a ton uh, of money. <laughs> thanks, thanks, Soji and PNG. Uh, you guys yeah, for thank you commentating. For it, for it. Yeah, it's, you guys did really good, so thank you guys. Um, anyways, I, it looks like Lodrax unmuted, so I'll see if if you guys could up, um interview him. That'd be great. Thanks oh, again, uh, everybody. Lodrax, are you here? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah. The volume Hello. Okay? Yeah, you sound good cool. to me. I don't know how it is for the stream. <laughs> so yeah, how, thanks how for the, running the tournament, guys. It was great. Lots of good games. All I had to do was press A, B, block. <laughs> yeah, how do you? How did you feel about that? Uh, the winners final matchup. What did you? Uh, what did you figure out after having lost the one round? Um. He was just being extremely patient. Like, usually, I'm the one that's more patient than my opponent, and eventually they'll crack and start coming to me, but Big Gucci mm -hmm. D was not doing that, so I had to start being a little bit more aggressive to put him on edge a little bit, I think. All right, all right, nice. And what about uh, what mm -hmm. about Grand Finals? I just had to not run into arrows. Just not run into arrows and hit the AB? It's harder than it sounds. Oh, you did, you did pretty pretty good job at it. <laughs> The AB did, yeah. did help you. I feel like that matchup isn't really that bad as long as you can get her to the corner. Yeah. Because then anything she does in the air is totally unsafe to near 5 AB. And punished by AB correctly. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, so how, what are you, how do you uh, feel? Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. What are you going to do with these uh, tournament winnings? <laughs> They'll probably just rot in my match arena count for a while. Oh, nice. No, I, <laughs> I don't know. I'll probably re donate them to other tournaments, honestly. Oh, that would be nice. How how do you feel after finally winning a tournament by watching the past experience? I know you were also second place in most of the past tournaments. And Always you finally a have it. Made, never a bride. You finally have it, and you had the biggest tournament, actually, won. Yeah, it feels good, honestly. One. I was... If I can Once I saw Moo Master win Losers Finals, I was terrified it was going to be another one where I throw it in the Grand Finals and end up getting reverse sweeped or something, but... Thankfully, it worked out. You learn from the from the experience, past experience. That's really, really great. Oh, so have yeah, you, I almost have you given up ghetto for that matchup. Oh, yeah, that's decided what I wanted, against yeah. it. What uh, what made you decide against the ghetto pick in any of the matches, really? Basically, just because I haven't been playing him as much recently, so my execution with him isn't necessarily on point, and that is. For me, the most disappointing way to lose in a tournament is to lose because my ghetto execution is just not there. Because you roll it and there's no command grab. It is extremely <laughs> frustrating, so I just decided to stick with Zonkuro. Whatever works. Strong. Usually okay. if I decide to play ghetto, I'll just do him for the whole tournament. That way I can, I don't know, keep it in my hands, if that makes sense. I get it. Yeah, I, I feel the same. I wouldn't switch my character in between the... So congratulations, Lodrak. Yeah, Big congratulations. Applause. Thanks, guys. It's uh, nice to see you play. All Thanks right. for the great commentary. You guys did great. Yeah, I'm glad you didn't listen to us. Because listening <laughs> to the commentary no, is I a always, big mistake. Yeah, I you always, always mute that. the stream when I'm it's, playing. It's for the best. <laughs> it would be too distracting otherwise, I think. Exactly. And you would have followed the commentators. La, la, la. And you would have lost concentration all right all right all thanks guys yeah i think that's it thank you all right so uh, uh png uh, thanks thanks for watching thanks for listening to yeah. myself <laughs>
You two did great on commentary. It was it was great to listen to. Y'all y'all had fun. Yeah. Uh, anytime. Um, PNG, I know you said you do not have a Twitter. Soji, do you use Twitter that you want to promote? I, I don't. I don't uh, use Twitter, but I have a Twitch account that I started to stream sometimes. Uh, I think I can post it in. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. I have a chat Twitch maybe. too, I guess. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, yeah, promote, can... promote your things. It's Actually, I wanted to, to stream to stream Sam show. Yeah. But I can, I, I can come back to the game if you guys feel like it. I have a proper microphone now. I can talk to you guys. Hopefully, we can do some some more stuff in. It's time to shameless plug. Yeah, there you go. Ah. Ah, <laughs> ah ping, okay. <laughs> it's a good stream name. I like it. Yeah. All right. Uh, again, thanks to the two of you for commentating. Um, big thanks to Aru for uh, running the event along with Diando, uh, Dave, and Starks. Um, who else did? A lot of people did stuff. I forgot. Um, but yeah, uh, well, there's still more Anime Evo going on over the course of the next few weekends. Uh, be sure to check AnimeEvo.moe for the full schedule. And yeah, we'll, we're going to have a lot. The SNK stuff is done. Uh, we did Mark of the Wolves, Breaker's Revenge, and this. We were going to do some more, but you know, too much going on. Um, but yeah, I'd like to thank everybody for being a part of this. For helping out with running it, Nocturnal, Agro Crag, Sleepy Ben, uh, Lord BBH. Yeah, I think that was this, that might be everybody. Yeah, go go follow all the people that helped run this. They did a good job, all right. and I appreciate all, all of right, you. I'm go get some lunch. So, yeah, uh, breakfast. For having me. Breakfast. It's nine in the morning where I am. God damn it. Oh ew. Yeah. It's noon over here. Oh, you futuristic bastard. Okay. Yeah, for me, it's August. Oh. 7 p.m. <laughs> what? That was very late. All right. So again, everybody, thank you for watching. Um, we will go raid somebody. Go. Uh, let us raid this fella. This Yipes fella, right? Y'all like Yipes? I don't know what he's playing, but let's go raid Yipes. We'll tell him Samurai Showdown is better than Call of Duty or some shit. I don't know. Because it is. That's the truth. Yeah, again, everybody, thanks for watching. Y'all have a great day. Peace.